switch audio devices? Um, yes, we can do that now. Uh, hey, we're professionals. Shut up. Wait, you didn't do anything. It's all... Yeah, there you go. There we are. Okay. All right. Hey. They can't really tell anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, they won't care. Hey, uh, this is us, uh, streaming veggie gaze. Uh, uh, want to pull up Let's the chat? Or, like, yeah, switch the screen and then uh, pull up the chat so we can say hi. Uh, we are playing... Oh, uh -oh, right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, right, the TV does have volume here. Forgot uh, about that. Let's turn that all the way down. Well, I want to okay. be able to hear it. Okay, just a little, keep it up just a little bit. I just don't want to bother people. Okay, we can hear it not, well enough. Okay, cool. Um, I'm actually going to turn it down just slightly more than that. There we go. That's, okay. that's about as quiet as it could possibly be. Cool. There's a thunderstorm somewhere in the uh, wild area. Cool. All right, here's me. Aren't I cute? I think I'm so fucking cute. I wish I looked like this IRL. Like, I would give up you my- You do look like this IRL. No, I don't. She's so tiny and like, ah, ah. She's so tiny and like slightly boyish, but so cute. <laughs> I, ah, I would give up my chest to be her. Yeah, so uh, we got a new toy, and now we can play other games other than the ones that we've been playing. And I want to uh, try to, like, um, I don't know, I, I, I just recently beat this game. I got it pretty soon after it uh, came out for Christmas, but uh, I stopped playing around when COVID hit because I just, I didn't fully feel like playing anymore. But then I decided, you know, I'm actually going to beat it. And now I beat it. And now I need to actually go and, uh, like, catch the legendary. You want to pull the chat up? Yeah, I'm in the process. Okay, because I want to <clears throat> say hi to you people. Uh, the few people who have uh, deigned to come join us. Oh, I hate slow pokes. I, I feel like I should uh, try to catch some big boys around here now that I actually have, like, I'm powerful enough. Like, who, who's this? Rhyhorn, okay. Oh, it looks like the the capture device may have frozen on us. Oh, shit. All right, chill a second there. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, the capture device froze. Okay, uh, deactivate, activate. Let's see, is that gonna be good? That'll probably be good. I hope. It's the reason we got this whole thing anyways. I mean, I got it to run in the, in the preview. Here is it. How are things? Um, things are interesting. Um, I, I dyed my hair like a bleach, then dyed my hair for the very first time, so that's cool. Um, like, uh, I kind of got talked out of going full, full red because, uh, like, I got concerned about if it was actually going to come out red or if it was going to come out pink. But, you know, I'm actually quite happy with how red it is. I wish I had more red. So, uh, definitely next time I change my hair, I'm going to go all red. Something that I realized uh, getting my hair cut this short is that this just, it makes me happy. It makes me so much happier to have my hair like this. I don't feel like I need to cover it up or style it in any way. It's just naturally what I like. And it's so powerful. I wish I could just keep it this way. Again, any vampires listening to this, uh, a free buffet right here. Just turn me afterwards, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I quite <clears throat> adore my hair. I love I, how I can run my fingers through it, and it's so short 
that like it's suddenly like I don't have a lot of hair to run it through. It, it's wonderful. It just makes me so happy. It's also made me want to like work on like my weight now. Um, cause I want more of me to look like me. Let's go ahead. I'm going to open the chat and see, uh, what people are saying. Cause while well, Tarboka works on, uh, the stuff, um, random person. Hello. Cutter Storkle. Hello. Mitzpah. Hello. Random All person. Right. How are things? Uh, I've got more to tell, but, uh, you just, you heard the start of that. I uh, set the video settings to manual so that it would just work. Um, cause we know that it's going to be coming out in 1080 and in 16 by 9 so i just turned all of that on uh where it's not trying to constantly reconfigure itself now it should work okay hopefully it does uh, it seems a little frozen like this is what it looks like okay so that's great that's cool Nothing can ever just work, huh? Uh, shit. Uh, Mitzvah, uh, link to the Discord is in the description. I am actually currently using my personal YouTube, otherwise I just post it right here. And I don't want to lose the, uh, the chat at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's a hair update. Um, what else has been going on? Oh! So, I, I, uh, I spun out recently. Oh, that was fun. I was driving home after my day job, and I, I hit some black ice, and I'll, I started spinning into the other lane. Thankfully, no one was there, but I just kept thinking, oh, God, get out of the other lane, get out of the other lane, get out of the other lane. And I did. But then there was a guardrail right uh, to my other side. I saw it coming. It's like, well... This is my life now. I did ding up uh, the car, so that's cool. <laughs> and then I went up a hill, uh, turned around, and just ended up like in the ditch on the side of the road. Thankfully, there are two guys behind me who kind of spun where I spun, but not as spectacularly as me. Uh, and they were able to help me out. It was funny because one guy he worked, uh, he works where I work, and he was saying like, "Well, at least you finished your shift." Oh, I was testing it. Uh, at least you finished your shift uh, be before this happened. It's like, yeah, but now I have to drive home. Uh, so that's that's cool. Um, and I ended up losing one of my uh, hubcaps uh, in the whole ordeal. And I was just going to be like, okay, whatever. Who cares? But uh, while the one dude was yanking me out of the ditch, the other guy found the hubcap. He, came, he gave it to me like, oh, you can hang it on your wall. And my thought was, no, I'm going to burn it. But I didn't tell him that. I was really thankful for them being there, though, because I didn't really know what to do. Like, I had, like, it, I spun out. It was such a moment of, like, I am just along for the ride. I spun out, and I only had a second in the car where I was like, oh, God, this happened. Before I got out and started trying to assess the damage. Uh, and then they pulled up. It was like, do I call Tarbuck or Mask? Would they know what to do? <laughs> Jake from State Farm says, so scandalous. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a bad boy. I got into an accident. At least no one else was involved. Thank God. And there was basically no one else on the, on the road. Otherwise, it could have been way worse. Like, uh, the front of uh, my car is all dinged up. Uh, we're looking into switching out parts, uh, especially because, uh, we're, like, uh, the bumper is dinged up enough to where I'm having trouble closing my hood. But we assessed it, and it doesn't look like there's any actual, actual body damage, just, like, uh, the little front side. So, uh, like, the actual, the little plastic bumper, and then, uh, well, unfortunately, because the bumper was damaged, it damaged, uh, one side of my light, so that's cool. But... Uh, I'm alive. God. <laughs> so that's fun, too. What else have I been doing? I have gotten back into playing Sims. Like, oh, God, I love playing Sims. I wish I could play Sims on stream, but 
it's more of a me thing. Like, when I play Sims, I don't talk. Like, I'm entertained. I could play for hours, but I'm not entertaining. And that's what I try to do with these. Like, I wanted to try to entertain you guys with Pokemon Sword and Shield, but uh, that's currently not happening at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Hopefully it will, though, because I actually want to show you guys uh, my character. She's really, really fucking cute. And I'm still astonished that I was able to create her. She basically looks like uh, the way I, I always create myself in uh, Pokemon. So, yeah. How's your guys' uh, day going? Your week going? We haven't talked in a while. How are things around your neck of the woods? Let's see, what else is going on around here? Um, I'm trying to get back into the process of YouTubing. I don't know, it's... It's hard to explain. Like, I thought after New Year, like, getting another day off because I was technically working overtime in working five days a week. Now that I'm back to working four days a week, I, it's still like, I don't know, I still feel like I have to play. I can't do work things on my day off. Otherwise, like, I'm not happy. I don't know. It's, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. I guess it's, it's part of the process of recognizing my previous day job wasn't, just the problem it was only adding to it so um random person says i want to play sims 2 ps ps2 uh such a nostalgic game for you for them yes it is such a nostalgic game for me i i haven't fully completed it yet i got to the point where like i beat it enough to where it showed me the blooper reel of uh the what do you call it of oh, the title I sequence see one of the problems it's trying to pass that through a USB 2 port. Mm. Okay. Um, I got to that point. I want to fully complete the game where I unlock everything. Uh, I was thinking maybe doing that sometime on stream, but I don't know. We'll think about it. Uh, download uh, some emulators. I tell you. Like, that's how I've been playing it, and it's totally worth it. Um, speaking of next, I just rotated it and it, it cracked. I'm in pain. No. No. Jake from State Farm, where am I going to get my insurance from? You can't, you can't do this, man. Oh my gosh. I've been having some weird next stuff too. I'm trying to sit up, but like, I don't. So like, I keep going back and forth, but... Thankfully, now I'm kind of at the point where, like, leaning, like, scrunching too much hurts my back. So, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, hopefully this uh, solves the problem, or at least helps. It's a whole lot nicer than the problems that we tend to have on this show. I guess so. Hopefully it was just an input error. Can't seem to get the emulator to work for me whenever I try to use it. Um, talk to Tarbuck. He got uh, the emulator working for us, and that's how I've been playing it. Yeah, which emulator are you using? I'm not sure the one. Like, I right. that I can't help you too much because he just showed me how to use it, and that's where it's that's like. Yeah, I set it up in a uh, ready to fire go kind of way. Yeah. All right, should All right. we try that? That should do it. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. Pokemon. 
Birds but are immune to electric or no. Ground. Not electricity. Earthquakes. Yeah. I'm not a healer at Pokemon, but I still like Jeez, that Okay, we It hasn't picked up sensor switch to the proper HP. Whoa, that was awesome. I haven't it, actually yeah. focused on that. Yeah, like, so, this game, like, overall, it's not... It doesn't, it's not what it should be for games like that came out in 2019, like a Pokemon game that came out in 2019, over 20 years or so, like a Pokemon game, but there are certain moments where it's like, yeah, that's cool. It's so annoying, uh, like when you see, uh, let me see if I can make it happen, like, shit like this, where, yeah, basically that happens, it's like, I'm just gonna stand still and look like I hit you, whoa! Like, yep. there's, there's just no animation, even still, after 20 years. Which is And a lot of the animations are just recycled huh? from Sunny Moon. Yes! Like, I can't, I can't look at Hop and, uh, not see... Uh... Who's an Inca Dragon, though? Against... Against, I don't know, whatever that... I don't know, 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 Dragonborn, that's, that's the name. Check the summary mode. Oh, oh it's happening anyways. <laughs> hey, you know, Sabatini! Watch me be bad at Pokemon. It's fun. Ayla, Ayla. Are you in post-game? Yes, I am. Okay. I was just saying that. I somehow spaced that. Yeah, I'm in post-game. I haven't got, I haven't done uh, that. Legendary um, corresponding with the game that I got, but um, this is a, a monster uh, Pokemon that oh, I get for this game. We need to adjust the music. Mm. That explains a couple things. Thank you very much, Ayla. All right. Oh, that would be right because I I changed it. Hmm. I had to end the the input and start a different one when it was plugged into a different thing. Okay, I see. Thank you very much, Ayla, for pointing that out. Yeah, it should be fixed now. Okay, and let us know if it's not. If it's not, uh, Tarok will get 40 lashes for being incompetent. <laughs> Don't worry, he likes it. Yeah. Is it really a punishment if you like it? I haven't uh, been able to use Eternatus yet. I, like, just got him. So I have, so like, I kind of want to play with him a little bit, but first let's go over here and, uh, uh, revive, uh, Toxtricity. Ah, excuse me. Uh, uh, I don't want to use one of my max revives. I th can I buy a max revive in this game? I don't know. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can. I'm just going to use the uh, revive. And then... Let's get to healing. Uh, let's go heal the boys. And I feel so bad for my Lombra there. Like I I try to use him as my, you know, water and grass type, but he's just so pitiful. Show me his stats. Hold on, let me just heal Eternatus. Okay, go to Pokemon. My little Lombra, here he is. Let's see. Six. I have level 63. Yeah, all right. He's sometimes useful, but he's just always lagging behind everyone else. It's kind of sad. Speaking of lagging behind everyone else, I need to move Etern uh, Eternatus up. 
so that I can get him going. But yeah, here's here's me. Isn't isn't she so cute? I just I just love her so much and I love her outfit. It's so adorable. Ah, oh, that's quite hot over here. Um, where do we want to go? I'm gonna just I wanna fight some powerful Pokemon. Some real powerful. I want to uh, invite others, but I think I got, I don't know, maybe I'm not doing it right, but I got into the game, I got into the end game and also got uh, the online mode pretty late, so I don't know if anyone still does that stuff. Ayla says it looks just like you. I wish. It does like, though. I can see it. Like. What part? Especially after just recently getting a haircut. Like, you have that hat. The haircut does you bring have it back. The glasses. No, I don't. I actually don't have the hat. Not anymore. Like, uh, I've not had that hat since I met you. I do have glasses, yeah. Mm, yeah, see, so it looks a different hat than the one I thought it was. Yeah, I used to wear hats like that all the time. If I could just, like, wake up one day looking exactly like uh my pokemon person i would i would be happy get out of here i want to wake up in the morning feeling shy and lonely. lonely gee i gotta go to school i don't oh, wait. think i can make it don't, <laughs> I don't think i can take it what oh wait i don't have to i live in the pokemon universe when you're 10 years old you're kicked out the front door to go travel the world <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, honey. Don't come back until you're Pokemon Master. Have I been over here yet? I don't know. I don't remember this. How does one beat a Pokemon game? Uh, you complete the story and I don't know, do stuff. Okay, so the first wave is usually beat the Elite Four and the Champion. When you do that, you've maybe kind of won Pokemon. That's one thing you can do. Uh, and in the yeah, process that's, of that, that's usually uh, where I call uh, that I've bet the I beat the game. Then there's post-game content, like a lot of it. <clears throat> uh, the amount exactly will vary from game to game, but there's usually stuff you can do. Like in the first game, there was catching Mewtwo, and that became the thing to do. And then, if you want to go absolutely insane, you could catch every Pokemon. Good yeah. luck. There's over a thousand. Yeah. Speaking of which, I probably should be trying to catch these Pokemon, not just, like, kill them. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I, I'm not. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think that might be the strategy to go for. Yeah, and you can also uh, capture whatever uh, legendary... Uh, or whatever is, yeah. uh, like... Capture the Pokemon on the box. Yeah, exactly. Which, uh, I should begin to do that, like, shortly. You don't have the Pokemon in the box? Not, the, the not, I, blog? I stopped uh, just before, uh, like, doing that. I don't remember the names of the Pokemon for uh, the last, like, three generations because I stopped playing them all the way through. Oh, really? Oof. So I've played more, uh, recent generations than you have. Yeah. Uh, I want to use a Pokeball. I'm gonna save my Master Ball for... Uh, what do you call it? You should save it for this game's new Yeah, that, that yeah, that, that's what I was trying to say, but I couldn't say it, because I... Word? What? Who? how does that? So a running, a running joke that old-time Pokemon fans have had since the beginning of the game is, like, one in six Pokemon are legendary. It's not actually that, but it feels like it a lot of the time. Like they What's add, that? they add a lot of legendary Pokemon every generation. Yeah. It makes them feel less legendary, you know. Yeah, it makes sense. Cause like, <clears throat> like I'm not like the, the only reason I'm going to try to uh, catch uh, this game's legendary is because well, that's just what you do. Mm -hmm. Rather than oh my gosh, like uh, I, I like this is such a hard thing that I have to accomplish. Yeah. 
Tom Oliver has kind of changed my mind in certain ways about Pokemon. Like, I will never dislike Pokemon. Why is that? Um, because... Like, it's just huh? so full of joy. Look at everything you're doing. Like, yeah. the Pokemon themselves are cool, the moves are cool. I always love the stories that they tell. Like, there's... It's a fun, good old time, and it's got, like, basic level strategy. <laughs> And this gets at Tom's complaint, that? is that um, it's only basic level strategy. When have you ever had to put something to sleep? Or... Ellis Sabatini says, can't wait for the PETA mod of this game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, man, I love getting into base with people about the, 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 the ethics of Pokemon. Like... Mm -hmm. Somebody's like, aren't you just doing dog fighting but in computers? And I'm like, well, if you played the fourth game, you will know that the Pokemon were ordered by God to, to, to serve people uh, if they are bested in combat. So it's okay. Okay. Oh, oh shit. I gotta catch this guy like now. Arceus commanded all the Pokemon that if, if a human wins your respect, you should serve them valiantly. Fuck, he's gonna die! Shit. Okay. Um, I gotta say though, I really didn't care for this uh, game's story. Hmm. It just, it, it didn't pull at any heartstrings or anything, and Team Yell was so nothing. There's definitely better teams that we've had in the past. Yeah. Based on what I've seen. For sure. I do like the idea of, like, parasocial relationships being in, uh, interrogated. Yeah, I do like that too, but I just could not care about Team Yell. I look at them and they're and just like, you guys are worse than, uh, the, what do you call it? Uh, whatever team was, uh, uh, in, uh, Sun and Moon. Team Skull? Yeah, and even then, like, I didn't care for Team Skull. <laughs> Team like, Skull is kind of like the loser brigade. Yeah, and I haven't honestly, I haven't really cared about a team since uh, well, whatever game uh, like whatever team was in uh, X and Y. Um, I feel like Team Plasma. Something like that, I think. Like that was the last time I I felt like a team actually was a little scary. Well. I, I totally get that because Team Plasma's main themes were what if PETA but also genocide and ethnic cleansing. Yes. Like like that was a force I felt had to be stopped. But like I don't know, it's just like, well, I guess I should stop you guys, but why? Ooh, that's a big old night. Uh Gibson Gibson Del Judas is here. Certainly. I was enjoying the frozen lemonade and interesting spies closing time. Uh what I miss. Oh, that was totally us yesterday. Yes. Like uh we got a new toy, as you can see. Uh and we went to pick we meant to pick this up yesterday instead of the day of. But we failed! Yep. We looked at the time and it was like, oh, it's eight o'clock and uh they closed at seven. Oopsies. But, you know, it's okay. Uh, either way, we can play uh, Switch games now. I think I'm gonna go catch uh, the shield Pokemon, and then I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, we'll go uh, play a little Animal Crossing. Watch me clean my island up, because I haven't played in a while. Hmm. Uh, let's, hear let's go buy some stuff. Oh, you're not the guy I wanted. Yeah, I do agree, though. Like, I don't do any strategy other than type matching. That's it. Yeah, because that's all you need in order to play the game. Meanwhile, in Persona, if you don't have a comprehensive mastery of everything by the second boss, you're dead. Yeah. I still want to get back into Persona. Like, I had, I, I've been having fun with that one. It's been a while since I've uh, played, though. Well, now we can do stuff like that. Yeah, we'll just have to uh, get the uh, PlayStation 3 up here somehow. Or I could just jump to Persona 5, because fuck it. You could go straight to Persona 5, that's true. You know, because, uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a streamer boy. I, I have to be current, and Persona 5's current-ish. 
Um, younger brother needs a new monitor because his just uh, pooped the bed. And we neglected to check the hours, so we opted for ice cream and lemonade because that was open. That totally makes sense. <laughs> yep, uh, I, I, I can uh, understand that feeling. What if the game, what does Game Freak release two Pokemon games instead of one with all the content? Money. Yes, it is just artificial scarcity because this is what po the Pokemon company is like. Yeah, and it's not even that they they release uh, two games. Like, then there's the Ultimate or Ultra versions. But the Ultimate version isn't actually Ultimate because it doesn't have every Pokemon in it. It just has a mixture. Yeah. If you uh, split it up, then people have to buy more games. It's genius! So, what is the third legendary for this for this trio? Is it know. is it a helmet? Is it a gun? I <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, Eternatus, uh, like, if you're going story-wise, but I don't know what technically is the third one, because I was just basically given Eternatus. Hmm. Where's the station here? I haven't played in a while. Oh, there's a station, okay. What? What's that? Because, like, in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, the Emerald is Rayquaza. It's the air as opposed to the land and sea. Land, um... sea, and air. Uh, let's see. First generation is a mess. That doesn't count. Crystal broke the, the symmetry of it because they weren't really planning on doing a special edition for that generation and then they did but starting from gen 3 onwards it just kind of went gibson says money 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 or uh, uh whatever pound 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 dollars and pounds and euros yeah. money 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 yeah. it must be funny in a rich man's world i'm in the wrong place money 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 always sunny it's a rich man's world uh, I think I need to go to Windermere? I can't remember the name of my own hometown. I suck. This is not it. This is not it. There's no way this is it. Ah, fuck. I can't remember the name of my own hometown. Euro, Euro, Euro. Uh, not anymore. So, let's see. In... Diamond and Pearl, the last one was Platinum. It was Space, Time, and the Void. Okay, this is not my hometown either. Technically, that was a set of four, but whatever. Okay, there's gotta be a map. Oop, not camp. Well, I guess we're camping now, but I don't have enough uh, berries for that, so... Shit. Hey, Cinderace! Oddly, in the, uh, so Ayla Sabatini is like, how old is Ash? The canonical answer is Ash is 10. The actual answer is that Ash is like 17 by now, at least. Yeah, like, he has to have aged some, at least. I mean, it's very possible that he should be 22. Yeah. Because at least 12 seasons of Pokemon. Okay. I don't have enough food for curry. And we gotta get out of here. Oh wait, no, I should have checked the map. Fuck, I was and gonna check the map. Gibson says, Indeed, ABBA is Sweden. This seems to be an oddly British version of <laughs> Japan. Yeah, that's exactly uh, what this is. Like The uh, Galar that's... region is the UK. Yep, where's my home? I wanna go home. Potswick, that's my house. So I need to go to... You can't call flying taxi. Oh. Oh, let, let's go and call the flying taxi instead of taking the tram. What what stands out as the weirdest to me is that there's no real Pokemon competitors anymore, and there barely were at the start. I mean, Digimon was a little bit, but they didn't really have a chance. Like, all they had to compete was uh, the uh, TV show. And the TV show was a hundred times better than the Pokemon show. Yeah, but uh, Pokemon's the one that's still going. I mean, uh, Digimon's still kind of going too, but still. I think this is where I gotta go to catch uh, the uh, shield Pokemon. It, it would be where I'd guess. I haven't looked it up at all. 
Honestly, the, uh, oh, when did the anime start? Ah, uh, I thought uh, Ash and Misty were supposed to be, like, almost the same age. Uh, I don't know, because, like, in the in the original game, like, uh, Misty was uh, the gym leader. Yeah. Even though she was still, like, a kid of some sort. I mean, she's still canonically the gym leader in the show as well. Really? Yeah. Cool. Whoa, there's a big-ass Corviknight. I want to fight him. I mean, she's at most five years old. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know how, how old she's supposed to be in like, uh, it, like not in the show. They, they added the shipping for the American version, which is why it never goes anywhere. Uh... It never develops because it was not supposed to have been. I see. I don't care about catching this Corviknight uh, because I only have a Corviknight on my team. So I can just destroy Destroy. I don't know when the the uh, anime must have started in what, like ninety five or something. That sounds in the ballpark, at least. Yeah, it, at least in that ballpark, like sometime around when the the first games came out. Uh, honestly, the fact that Ash was shipped with Missy in one of the movies was odd to me, considering their insistence on canonical his canonical age because she's easily a teenager and that's creepy. Okay, now I get. I mean, I know Japan has a general problem with, like, aging up characters look wise but she reads as older than me. I don't know. Like, I always read her as being around Ash's age. I also think that we're overly infantilistic of, like, people who are teenagers and stuff. So, like, Shit. somebody will look at an anime character and be like, that person looks like they're whatever age is acceptable to me to be attracted to. And then there, there's nothing, like, the art isn't realistic enough for you to actually draw that conclusion. Yeah, it, but, and it's not realistic enough to really, uh, like, figure out, like, how old they should be anyways. Like, like, yeah, there's the anime a minimum vaguely, age, but not a maximum age. Yeah, anime uh, characters just vaguely look at the same age. Like, there are <laughs> things you can do to make them technically look older or not, but <laughs> not, not a lot. Then again, I'm also a young lady, kid who uh, read her discuss her frock salivating over anything boobs and pulse as jealousy. Oh, I see. <laughs> gotcha. Come on, I, I just want to catch you. I love uh, how wheez, wheez, uh, wheezing, there we go, Look in this, looks in this game. I just want to catch one, but they don't want to stain the fucking ball. Come on. Yes, yes, yeah, I got one. I always thought it was a little weird that when Brock turns out to actually find a connection with somebody and he really likes them, then his, like, in, like begging for a date goes away. Really? Or, like, subsides. He becomes more serious when he actually has a, a possible romantic interest in somebody. And usually it, like, burns out. Or he Aww. like he like passes. He's like, nah, you're too you're too good for me, basically, and he oh, leaves. Oh no! Especially if she returns his affections. That's terrible. It it feels weird in the context of his character because like, isn't isn't this what you wanted? Like yeah. someone to like you, and then it doesn't happen. I don't I don't know. That's because Asians age differently than Westerns. Uh, Sakurai looks like he's in his 20s, but he's in his 50s. Oh yeah, I forgot Sakurai is like a million. Hop, what are you doing here? I would say Sakurai looks like late 20s. Maybe early 30s, that might be pushing it, just from looks. So you don't feel like I was calling you here, Sachiko. That's it's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Sachiko. Thanks. Uh, honestly, Sachiko, never thought you managed to beat my brother. Greatest champion uh, Galar ever had. He was undefeatable until you came around. Actually, still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Sachiko. Ah, everyone's just feeding my ego. 
so amazing. Maybe I don't even realize just how amazing you truly are. I'm gonna read him with Gibbs voice from now on. Yeah. In my head. Like, this is just give and take. <laughs> Why do you say that? Um, because it is a British person. <sighs> <laughs> I hope that doesn't stop there. Uh, you want to keep going, buddy? Uh, hit A real quick. and uh, Sure. A British person with curly hair. Okay, so if you get, like, an American mutt with curly hair, are you going to read them in my voice? Maybe. <laughs> okay. I mean, I would absolutely read this protagonist here in your voice, because you look like that. Not enough, I'd say. I'm not tiny and ten. Okay, but that's an abstraction. Like, they don't look like a ten. But I want they look to... like a person. Okay, but I want to literally... Well, I don't want to be ten. Ten's too young. But I, I literally want to, like, be younger. Again, any vampires listening, uh, uh, DM me. You kind of are younger, you know what? Like, to, like, compared to people your age, you you look younger than you are to me. I hope so. Like, that's why I always hope, because I'm terrified of my age starting to show. Like, I'm creeping up further, and I'm oh god. I don't want to die. Let's see. See, this is why I dropped out of anime originally. Musicals are way more concrete. Oh, oh. I, I think uh, just depending on the, the kind of anime you watch, it gets better. Like if you watch like, uh, I hate to say it, but isekai trash. Even though like <laughs> I'm all about isekai, just not like you know, uh, the constant slew of uh, cut like cut and paste uh, isekai shows. Man, I I have always wanted to be part of an isekai. All right, well, let's make sure my team's ready to go, because I guess uh, Hop and I are going to uh, catch the, Poke the the big Pokemans. So, Willa just dropped me a line that I think would interest you greatly. Okay. Quote, One of my Sims has maxed out their fitness skill and is also pregnant with their second child. This bitch has eight-pack abs over their baby bump. <laughs> I love it! Oh, wait, no, Hop's going to fight me. Dude... How many times do I have to wipe the floor with you? I tell ya. I tell ya. I do love it. I love it so much. Okay, so... I got a question for you. Yes. What if there are vampires, but they're only, like, your test count or launch type like... No, if I'm gonna be, uh, immortal, I wanna be evil. Yes, I would okay. settle for being hideous and a monster if I could be immortal. I don't know, maybe if I got a little older then I'd be okay with that, but right now I'm just... I don't know. I want, I want my eternal beauty too. Okay. Like, that's right. one of the things I also lament about growing up. So, question. Would you become immortal if you had to be fat? I don't know. Like, okay, so for me, there's no contest. The answer is obviously yes, because I would be immortal. <laughs> like, I mean, I feel like that's that's the answer I'll eventually come to, but it's a little hard for me too because, like, uh, like, how, like how big I am right now, it does give me dysphoria, hmm. and so like. I, I'm kind of, I'm concerned about like basically going the rest of my dis, uh, my rest of my immortal life having dysphoria. Well, you know, if you're summoning a vampire, they're going to freeze you in the state that you currently are. I know. That's why it's like, well, if I had to be frozen like this, it wouldn't be the worst. Mm -hmm. uh, no bigger though. Uh, but if you could give me just a little bit of time to drop a little bit of weight, then we'd be good. Yeah, I, I saw somebody being like. Um, like, look at your closet. Look at your outfit. If you die and become a ghost, this is your outfit for the rest of eternity. Are you satisfied with that? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think this is okay. This is for me. 
Oh wait, Hop doesn't actually have curly hair, he just has big tufts of hair. What was I talking about? I don't know, tufts of hair and at like, a certain at the size or at the length of his hair, yes. Well, I mean in animation too. Like that's often how uh curly hair is depicted. Ooh, I better uh get a turn just out here. Let's see. Well, look at your animated hair. It's just big Tops bumps. of hair, yeah. It's just big bumps. Um I think I'm feeling a bit toxicity here. Gibson says, see this is why I drop out of anime originally and it's over way more Yeah, that's, that, yeah. I said then. Ayla says, is there any, is there any way to create the walk? Fuck! Again! Immediately, Takatricity just dead! Damn I mean, it! Yes, that is true because they are cartoons and they don't have an age. Uh, like, if you want to be super technical about it, the age of your character oh, is your playtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's the age of your character. I see. Alright, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to uh, revive uh, Toxicity because I want to make sure she gets, uh, you know, the, the dough from this, uh, the XP. Hopefully, the race can survive! Oh, this is dangerous! Gibson says, uh, I would never want to be immortal. I know beauty because I will die. I have purpose because time is running out. I enjoy the light because I face eternal dark. Hard disagree. I could not disagree with you more than I currently do. The reason that I'm like dragging my heels and like barely doing anything with myself is because I am mortal. It's like Somebody has already torn out the second half of a book, so why bother starting it, you know? Yeah, and that's how, like, my mortality makes me feel guilty for, uh, taking time out of my life to, uh, like, enjoy frivolous, like, ultimately frivolous things. It makes me, uh, just fearful of, like, not spending my time well enough to where I am, like, basically wasting it. Like, I have not left my mark enough. I have not done enough. I've not done enough to justify just sitting and playing Sims for a whole day. I I feel like if I were to be immortal, the fuck is that? I would work out more. I would eat better. I mean, I'm currently eating better. I don't want to be that guy, but look at uh, look at this piece of shit. Yeah, look at this piece of shit's <laughs> dumb face. Like ah. Uh, Cramorant. It's just so I don't like, like look at him. Look at him. I I love him. <laughs> I love how stupid he looks. I do too. I want one. I'm gonna play this game and catch one. Cool. All right. So, if I were if I were immortal, I'd catch work one and call him Pinky. Yeah. Uh, if if I were immortal, I'd work out more and I would eat better. Yeah. I'm currently eating better, but that has a designed well, expiration date. Well, hold on, hold on. You would eat better because it'd be all natural. Because blood's all natural. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um. I like, like I would take care, better care of myself. I would, I would. There's a lot of things that I would do that I don't do now because I feel like if life gets cut off, then what was the point of all that wasted effort? Yeah, it, it, it's just like you know the existential question, like having to deal with the existential question of what is my purpose, and if it's just to mm -hmm. just live and die, then it's like what's the point? When I like, when I think about exercise, for example, it no longer feels like a waste of time because I have the time, so I can do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I could, I wouldn't mind doing certain things for money that I, I currently don't do. Like, there, there are ways that I could turn what I do into a way more profitable venture, which I would actually do if I were immortal because then I'm not wasting my life. Yeah. I also just don't like the idea of being bad. Like, I don't like the idea of just ceasing to exist one day. It's like, I kind of can't care about there being an afterlife because, well, why care? I'm dead. Like, I want to enjoy this mortal plane. And if I can't do that, I don't know. I don't care. Well, 
Think of it. Think about it this way: you were already dead for the centuries before you were born. I know, but I, I, but it didn't matter to me because I didn't have existence before that, as far as I'm aware. But it's the same. Like, yeah, it's the your, same, your and I, I hate births, it. I still hate it. The state that you're in before you're born is the state that you're in after you die. Yeah, which I, means that you were already dead. I know. You have already been dead. I know, and I hate the idea of it. Uh, disavow. Vincent uh, Allegory says, uh, why is it a waste if you're not immortal? Because the, if, when you have less time, your time is more valuable. Mm -hmm. So the things that you get back from it have oh, to fuck. be a certain I didn't return. realize. <laughs> like I, I need a certain return on investment from my time spent, or I don't want to bother. I, I, hold on, Corbin. I just hold out for a second. I need to heal someone because I didn't realize what he was sending out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... Um, let me develop this idea a little more in a flexible uh, way. Max potion. That's what I need. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> So, I listen, didn't read it. Like, consider the normie job, like working in an office or something. Like that. What a, what a worse waste of life could you possibly think of? Mm -hmm. um, I guess you could break rocks for a living. That's something. But if you, if you're immortal, then you're not wasting your precious time. You yeah. are spending some of your time. It's like in a video game. Investment. You're grinding. Yes, it's grinding. Yeah, in a video game, when you're grinding, there's never, like, you have to, uh, like, be at a certain point uh, before, like, the end, like uh, mm -hmm. the end game. Otherwise, you're just fucked and you can't go back. Yeah. Exactly. Like, any grinding you do in your moral life, like, you spend your whole life grinding. Like, the thing that bothers me about mortality is we work for 65 years to get enough money and the ability to travel the world and enjoy our life, but that by that point, we're too old to do all the things we would have wanted to do while we were young. Yeah. We're too old to enjoy the money we've earned. The system is designed so that you suffer for the profit of others and then die never being able to enjoy what few spoils you've been able to eke out of your meager existence. Basically, like even if you do have enough money God to- damn, I'm bleak. Well, yeah, like, even if you have enough money to travel the world, like, you still can't do things, like, you still can't do a lot of things that you could have done when you were young, because you just have, uh, such a, um, what do you want to call it? Like, I'm gonna bring out Fortnite to hold the field for a moment. Uh, like, you can't, like, your body has limitations, even more limitations, uh, like, then when you uh, join the workforce and start the grinding. Mm -hmm. Grinding. Gibson does do this, says, well, does the normie guy love what he's doing? Does the rock quitter love what she's doing? That's no. something we're not hearing. Yes, you are hearing it. It is stipulated in the beginning of the, of, of the, the thought experiment that I'm posing to you. Like, one of those, the argument that you always hear against raising the minimum wage is, or, or like introducing UBI, for example, is like, well, all of these essential jobs that are necessary for our society to stay afloat would suddenly go, go away overnight. But if that's true, then you're acknowledging that if they didn't have to, these fundamental pillar needs would be unmet in society. Is, isn't that an yeah. indictment of the society that we live in? Like It is. Like, if there's... If there's truly so many people that are just working because they have to, working these jobs because they literally cannot survive without yeah. them, then are they really enjoying their lives? Like, is this really a system we should be supporting? Can you say that it's a life well lived? Would you do what you do if all of your neat, like, if you were like a sugar baby on the side and you were getting hundreds of yeah. thousands of dollars on the yearly? Like, like, L literally, I wish I, I, I wish I had it in me to be a sugar baby because I don't want, I don't want my day job. Like that's part of the reason why I'm doing YouTube. I mm -hmm. still don't, I still kind of don't want to do YouTube. I don't want to have to rely on it as a job because it makes me miserable. But it's the closest thing to happiness I can find because what actually makes me happy is having my time to myself, being able to do things mm -hmm. the way I choose, being able to stay home if I want to for an entire month. Uh, like, not having to go someplace because 
my ability to survive is dependent on it. Like, like, but there is no job like that. There's no option in this world to give me that except for just being born in a richer, uh, more entitled family. So one of the one of the questions that is useful for clarifying this is if you if I snap my fingers and make you a billionaire tonight and for the rest of your life. Would you keep doing your job? No, would you, of course would not. Would you keep doing the thing that you're currently doing? Yeah. My answer is yes. Yeah, and that's that's why uh, I in part envy you, Tarba, because you're able to exist uh, like the way that you do. Whereas me, like I want I want a little more comfort in my living. Like not like oh I gotta be Donald Trump or something, but I want to just not be concerned uh, like about. Mm -hmm. Like my ability to take a shower, or uh, like, yeah. uh, like if I'm going to be able to eat or keep a roof over my head. Like I like making things and building things and being on shows and all the various, like tiny things that com conspire to grant me the meager existence that I currently have. And if I were a billionaire, honestly. It I might be eating very slightly better ingredients and I would be living in a somewhat more secure place, but this is what my lifestyle would yeah. already look like. Like you wanna you wanna see my ideal? This is already it. And I'm close to the bottom of the economic scale for for my entire country. Now, my needs are probably different than yours. Would you wanna just be a woodworker a lot because the craft interests you? Or like would you would you take up uh, historical sewing or something like that, you probably wouldn't. But if you would not quit your job, that is the position from which you, like, we're on the same page. <laughs> like, that the desperate need to keep yourself afloat is the thing that I'm criticizing. Yeah. Because that's coercive. That is a bad state for the world to be in. There's nothing wrong with, like, loving what you do and feeling mm -hmm. like uh, you could do this for the rest of your life. The problem is that most people don't have that. Like, the the whole do what you love uh, for a living you have never worked a day in your life, yeah, that's something to, like, want, but the honest truth is most people don't have that option. The system is designed so that you can't have that option. Yeah, or at least, uh, like, enough people can't have that option to where it's effectively not available because they still uh, have to have people, uh, you know, work the shit jobs no one wants that that pays no, like, doesn't pay a full living. So, like, I feel like one of the secret messages of Ratatouille, like, the, I keep coming back to Ratatouille whenever I think about this because the, the, the quote by the imaginary version of that one chef, what's his name? Uh, Gusto. Gusto. Uh, is anyone can cook. That doesn't mean that uh, anyone can become a great cook. A, a bad cook can become a decent cook. But um, some people from anywhere can be a great cook. Like, well, what? that's, that's the, essen the essence of the American dream as well. Like, Who anyone the fuck are these? can make what? it. But everyone can't. Anyone can do the thing that they love for a living, but n everyone can't. Just look at these guys' hair. I mean, it's so... <laughs> and... Like, would you... Um, if you instantly made you hot, would you run ten miles right now? I don't think I literally could. I would do it. No, no, like, I would try it, but I literally don't think I, I could do it. I would go pretty damn hard in order to make that happen. But the thing is, it, it, it's not that. Like, but but the, the mid-term and long-term things become short-term things when you're immortal. Like, yeah. would, I, would I run for, like every day for a year to become hot if I'm immortal and the time that I'm spending could not be spent better elsewhere. Like, it doesn't matter that I can spend my time better in other ways because I'm, I'm not taking 
time off of my final clock. I would totally do that. It, are there hair, swords, and shield? Yes, that's, sword what, I, and that's shield? what I was commenting on. <laughs> and they just nicked our, the items that we took, or that we put back. That we only borrowed uh, in order to... Uh, like, uh, save the world, and these guys are all like, ah, we're... we're, we're oh, we're, goodness. Yeah. Such a plebeian, yet so pushy. If it's really I'm so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. <laughs> oh, you don't know who you're going against. You're going against a champion runner-up and, uh, like, the champion. <laughs> well, what's this Legend of Zelda shit going on here? <laughs> Aye, the magnificent shield, Bert! <laughs> of your opponent. Alright, alright. So, um, I need to scroll up a bit. Because yeah. I, I have not responded to, like, half of what Gibson is saying. Yeah, I, I, because, I figured. Because you and I have just been going deep on this stuff. Alright. Yeah. Talk um, to me about, uh, uh, immortality. I can go on forever. That, um, let's see. Uh, immortality would suck because you'll outlive your friends and family. I already do that. It does suck, but... Like, that's not a reason not to buy the rest of the happiness. Would you rather be... Fuck. Like, oh, I don't what? think that being sad 20% of the time is bad enough that it mean, that it outweighs my being, like, satisfied to happy the other 80% of the time. Even yeah. if it's for Even if it's for eternity. Yeah, I mean, like, outliving your friends and family, that's already part of mortality anyways. Yeah. And, like, you know, if I became immortal, I would do what I can to make the people that I love and want to be around immortal as well. I wouldn't want to, mm -hmm. like, keep it to myself. Yeah. And I feel like I'm also in a bit of a, a interesting position where I kind of don't have many people that like, I'd be totally destroyed if I lost. It's so, like... It's what? like, I don't know. Two? Is that Three? cheating? Pops? It's a little cheating. Yeah. Alright, I want to... Like, yeah, let's keep going. Um, this idea that you have to experience bad things in order to appreciate good things does not ring true. Like, there's a certain element of relief when you are hungry and you eat something. Mm -hmm. But people get fat because they just like eating on its own without hunger. Yep, that's me. Um, I just like food. Like... I don't need to be hungry to appreciate, uh, like, uh, a, a good pizza roll. Mm. Good pizza yeah. rolls are you, good no matter what. You don't no need to what. be hungry to appreciate good food. You don't need to be thirsty to appreciate sex. And, like, you don't need, like, what you're what you're describing there is relief from pain. That's not, na like, if you're in a bad way, then wanting to not be that bad way is a good thing. I'm not taking that away from anybody, but just relief from bad as its own good to be sought out for itself is so zero-sum. It's so defeated. And I have a counterpoint for you. There's no negative preamble to laughter. Laughter is free. Yeah. There is no negative emotion. That's it can true. just happen to you, and it's great. Laughter, like... Laughter and comedy and mirth and joy... That can just come out of nowhere. You don't have to be bored to be, to, to suddenly be able to appreciate, yeah. like, jokes. In fact, uh, oftentimes, uh, if, if a joke or something funny is predicated by something sad or depressing mm -hmm. or, oh no, I was going to switch Pokemon, shit, okay, uh, this is my life now. Um, then often the laughter isn't as powerful. It's, it doesn't yeah. feel as strong. Like, you you actually, or at least I have a harder time appreciating the uh, funniness of something if I feel bad. A joke that relies on torture is a shady joke. Mm -hmm. All right. That may, okay. Now, the way that I've been intoning all of this has been making it sound like I'm mad at Gibson specifically, oh. which is not the case. Yeah, that's... Like, yeah, I, I'm too drunk like, to have noticed that. keep going. I'm loving this because it's giving me material to be hot about. Yeah, yeah. This is the fire in my blood. If it ever goes out, I'll turn to stone. Why do I, uh, like, because of your intonation, like, I imagine the pirate cat from uh, Last Unicorn saying that. <laughs> Let's see. Vincent Allegory says, I feel, ooh, what, oh, wait, I skipped one. Oh. Um... 
Hey, what's up, Jeannie said, so does anybody ever read the fuck up Pokemon manga where they kill each other? What? <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> yeah, in the manga, Pokemon on Pokemon violence is often lethal. Oh, I don't want to read that. <laughs> I want to believe, uh, you know, it's all it's all good in good fun. <laughs> like, they're playing to the point of exhaustion and something like that. I can see that. I mean, that's, that's what the mechanics of the game actually tell you, so... I mean, yes, but they don't literally die. Unless you're playing Nuzlocke. Right. Alright. Um, no more worms. It's time to beat you hollow. Well, uh, Gibson fires back at me. Would I do what I want to do? Yes, because it beats around. It beats sitting around doing nothing. Who said anybody's sitting around doing nothing? Like, you want to see people in this situation I'm describing? Look at the retired. What do they do? They go back to work. Usually they go back to work because they're bored. Mm -hmm. Like, you would still... I'm not saying that you wouldn't work if your needs are met. Absolutely not. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, in, like, all... Like, basically every single uh, test they've done of UBI, uh, like, mo like, most people still work in some way. But they just don't, like, uh, work jobs they hate. Because, yeah. you know, for a lot of people jobs give them a uh, purpose and that's okay you do you but just make sure you're not like working a job because uh like only because like you literally have to in order to live hmm. like don't do uh the working for the weekend thing because that's just miserable you're only working so that you can have days off to enjoy uh what little bit of happiness you've got oh shit i didn't i didn't notice uh, the protection wall Vincent Allegory says, I just feel like the amount of time we're given in our immortal lives while not guaranteed still makes it worthwhile to put forth effort to make the limited time we have enjoyable. Yes, absolutely. Well, yeah. But that's what I'm doing. That's already what I'm doing. I'm saying that there are plenty of things that might give me long-term benefits that I'm not doing because my, my happiness in my life, like I only have so much time to build that happiness. And if I have to spend it doing miserable bullshit, I'm not going to want to continue. <laughs> I'm trying to get this guy to stop teching himself. But I'd be willing to put up with some of that miserable bullshit if it doesn't take off from my life. Yeah, if it doesn't subtract from you being able to do something <laughs> uh, interesting or fun, then uh, it's more worth it. But if you have to choose either or, you're gonna choose the interesting or fun thing instead. Stop fucking protecting yourself! God damn it! Protect is the worst attack. Yes, it is. I mean, I, I'm, I'm chipping away at him, but come on, let me use my fireballs. Like, it's, it's, just, it's just protecting himself. Why? And then he avoided the attack anyway. Ah, uh, I'm almost out of this. Well, I, I think I've got this. Oh, fuck you! Oh, oh, hey, fuck you! You know what this calls for? Uh, horn drill, or guillotine, or sheer cold. Just snap your fingers and pronounce them dead. I don't have any of those. Watch, I'm gonna do my, uh, like, a fire, my, one of my fire attacks, and he's gonna fucking protect himself again. Well, at least he's paralyzed, so that's cool. That's great. All right, pyro ball. Let's go. So don't you fucking protect yourself. When when Gibson says, "That's a great movie," I would assume that's a response to, "Would you, would you keep doing your current job?" And he says, "Absolutely, a movie, I would." If that's the case, you're in the one percent. Yeah, I I envy you. Like, I really I, like... I am in the one percent on this. A, yeah. huge, a huge part of that is because I'm willing to accept a lower standard of living, so if what I'm doing with my life only pays me back a tiny amount, I can live on, like, $10 for a week. Yeah, like... I can do that. I, I envy you guys because I wish I could say that I would do what I'm doing right now as a day job, like, even if I didn't have to. Like, I like it, but it's mm -hmm. not, it's not preferable. I'm remembering a conversation that I had with somebody back in high school where they were talking about this job that was miserable, and I said, <gasps> if, I, if I had to do that job, Why? I would be miserable. And they were like, well, if, you, if that's the only option that you had, then you would starve. And I'd be like, 
yes, I would rather starve. And look what happened. I put my money where my mouth is. Yeah. And, like, I, by certain accounts, I am starving. But I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> that you're, is preferable. You're, 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 you're so, uh, you're so happy you don't know how miserable you are. <laughs> <laughs> They're so happy they don't know how miserable they are. Uh, I just gotta say, like, okay, so Sword and Shield absolutely shits on Hop. Over and over again, he keeps trying to beat me, but he doesn't. Like, he doesn't even get to go against his brother. And now, and now the fucking sword guy beat Hop while I handily destroyed the shield guy. This is... I feel so, so bad for Hop. He's so pathetic. Like, this game hates him. <laughs> Man, That's whatever not... happened to Gary Oak? Yeah. Like, one, one thing that also kind of bothers me uh, in recent games is that your rival isn't really a rival. It's like, It's more of the Japanese con concept of a rival. That is yeah. somebody who's competing in the same field as you to sharpen your, your drive rather than somebody who hates you. And wants you to fail so that they can win. Yeah, I want I want a character like that. Like you know, I don't even mind having a character like um, what was it, Colum or something? Uh, whoever whoever the uh, rival character was in X and Y. He wasn't like you know on the other team, but it was like, like he seemed like he could be a threat. Hmm. But you know. He's just a rival. He's just, you know, working with you uh, by working against you so that both of you could learn to be the best. Uh, I guess the I would appreciate the extra time afforded by immortality, but I don't like the idea of existing forever. Uh, fair trade. Like, remember, this too shall pass, always. If you're ever yeah. getting bored, it'll run out eventually. Yeah, basically, and like... Never underestimate the human capacity for novelty. For example, take a break from eating your favorite food for a year, if you've, get, if you've gotten tired of it, come back to it, and you'll like it again! <laughs> oh, man. Um, Gibson is like, plus the biological aspects terrify me. Of... Not dying? I'm lost now. Hey, Sabatini says, did Shieldbert just make a JoJo reference? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen JoJo. I haven't either. And I also haven't been paying attention to the dialogue. Anyway. Oh, fuck, um, I guess this is a, a part of the games I have to play now. Don't you love how I can take even a subject like vampires and immortality and turn it into a rant about economics and how the system is like <laughs> needs to be deposed we it always comes back to socialism every single subject such a dirty lefty uh are, are you're i even in you're the flaming lefty <laughs> this the like crossfire splash damage like managed to also hit ratatouille while we were at it yeah <laughs> A flaming lefty who loves Ratatouille. How terrible. I need to go to Wedgehurst now. Okay. I'm going to step out for a minute. Uh, keep the chat entertained, I how? guess. Here you go. So I'm glad that uh, this game is recognizing how much it's shitting on Hop. Like, it's actually a story beat, like, how pathetic Hop is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to help Hop. Like, I, I feel so bad for him. Like, honestly, like... I have lived what my character is living right now, like, just being good, like, just because, I don't know, like, it's just like, I happen to be better than you, I'm sorry. And uh, that's, that seems so narcissistic. And I promise I've been on the other side of this too, okay? Uh, but, uh, like, I can so relate to how my character is feeling right now, where it's like, I'm sorry I'm this good. Like... I'm sorry that like I, I like I wish my I wish uh my friend could be enjoying what I'm enjoying now because it's not fun to be the only one who's winning. Let's see. Ever get bored? Become Junko fucking Enoshima. Who's that? Oh, well, I'm guessing that's a JoJo reference. Uh, again, I haven't seen JoJo. Um. Maybe I would see JoJo if I was immortal, but until then, I, I ain't got time for that shit. How did Sonya get here? Sonya's got an assistant now. I like 
like Sonia's design a little bit. Like, it's not for me, but it is cute. I love the, I love the minty greenness. I feel like Shield Sword and Shield was has been the weakest by far storyline I've been so like I've I've done in like in recent Pokemon games. Uh, like uh, I've only played uh, X and Y and Op so far. I've, I have played a little bit of Silver, but I've, I've not finished that yet. Um, but so far, the the Sword and Shield games, like the storyline is just so weak. It's just like, oh, of course, uh, like this character who's been around for a while is gonna go try to destroy the world, but you know, he's gonna say he's saving it. And it just, it was so easy to, to defeat him that, and it was so easy to defeat him and so expected that it wasn't even interesting. It wasn't fun. Like, I knew this was coming, but it, it he didn't really explain his justifications either, like how exactly this was going to save the world in his eyes. It just kind of happened. It was like, this is the part you expect to happen, so it's happening. And like, I didn't care for Sun and Moon at, like that much. I was feeling a little bit the same, but not at this level. Like, yikes, man. Uh, not great. I'm, I'm very, I'm very sad. It was a Dungeon Ropa reference. Oh yeah, I. I mean, I, I mean to catch up on Game Grumps playing it. Maybe I'll play it myself. Cool, cool. I'm, I'm curious about that game. I, I especially because I love uh, visual novels too. I would play many more visual novels if I was immortal, just because I'd have the time to do it, and I'd have the time to go through and uh, like explore uh, the different tracks as well. Like, the biggest thing that keeps me away from visual novels is just how much time it takes. <sighs> I gotta say, though, this game is getting interesting now because it looks like there's more story than I thought there was gonna be, and they're actually going somewhere with the whole shitting on hop thing. That's cool. Uh, concentration... I'm like barely reading this, so I'm also not getting any of the story at this point. Uh, Sonia's doing scientific stuff, and her grandma's probably happy because Sonia's doing something with her life, I guess. Why'd you have to take me to the. Oh. I'd be able to. To claim royalty with weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Yeah, uh, fuck the monarchy. Uh, 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 overthrow, uh, power to the workers. What the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where am I going? Head to Wedgehurst po Pokemon Lab. I am there, though. Where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, fuck, where am I going? Oh, wait. That's the exclamation point, so I guess I gotta go there. What? Where am I going? Okay, so I have to go here? No, I can't fly here. Oh, where's, uh... Is that the closest, uh... What are you talking about? What am I supposed to do? I wasn't paying attention! I'm sorry! Shit. Let's go back. Looks like it's come from- yeah, okay, I saw that too, okay. You can always Dynamax at the stadium, so that's not unusual. These screens are higher than normal. Okay, cool, cool. Ah, uh, right. I'm the new snazzy champion. Then why don't I get a cape? Okay, so Leon got a cape, but I don't deserve one because I'm not cool enough, I guess. I guess that's a justification. But you know, I don't think I need a cape. I look, I, I'm a cute little snack already. I, I just like saying like I'm a snack, even though like I don't mean it, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Like, I just like, I just like uh, the word snack and then applying that to people for some reason. I don't know. Okay, flying taxi, take me home. To the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, 
Take me home. All right, so where? I think I need to go this way. Because I think, uh, I think they're probably at the ruins or something. Or at the, oh, no, not up here. Uh, ah, ah, where do I go? Poison? Fine. Okay. Maybe I need to go to the stadium. I don't know. It'd be good if I paid attention, but I don't do that. While well, I truly know if a human is a snack, we must consult a cannibal. Anyone know somebody? Or a vampire! I like this, I just want a vampire. I just, I just want, I just want there to be vampires so then I can become one. And I want, uh, vampires to be like Anne Rice vampires. Oh yeah, so another thing that I've been getting into recently is the, uh, Anne Rice, uh, like Vampire Chronicles. I am currently on book four. Uh, I like Lestat, but I think I, I, I prefer Louis. Louis is more like the kind of vampire that I would be. Just like, still terribly human, I think. Like human to a fault, like where like it prevents me from uh, like really exploring the dark gift, I guess. Like, and sort of tortured by my vampireness, I guess you could say. But, yeah, uh, Anorex Vampires, really cool. I love the mythos around them. Uh, I just wish Lestat wasn't always trying to do things uh, to basically uh, destroy himself. Uh, but also because it's interesting, so he has to try to destroy himself, like, incidentally. No, no, see, for the vampire, the snack is the blood. It doesn't indicate if full-fledged human is a snack. Well, you see, okay, hold on. So, depending on which mythos you go by, humans can still kind of be a snack, because uh, when uh, vampires are sucking blood in some, in certain uh, canons, they see the entire of, uh, like, the entirety of a person's life, which is kind of basically their essence, and so they can tell if a person is really a snack. I guess if you only go by uh, flesh and bones, then yeah, you have to go with uh, like cannibals. I guess you could, like, even still in the vampire canon, you could go with the uh, red-headed twins. Uh, you know, they're they're cannibals. So uh, checkmate. Someone who actually hates humans would give us the full picture. I mean, kind of. I guess it depends on which part in particular you're uh, trying to measure is the snack. Is it just the flesh and bones? Or is it the mind? Flashbacks don't count. You can't eat a flashback. Uh, tell that to a vampire. Wait, I just- I did not pay attention. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I was going on about vampires. Dynamax Pokemon? What's what the fuck is happening? Hop is a gym leader? Sorry, actually I'll side in the rush. Oh that's okay. Now I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon down. Uh of course. Good thing I hit the uh, Pokemon Center. Alright. You can do it, Hop. You're still cool. We- I- I want you to be there. Let's go. Okay, um... Uh, he is buff as fuck! Yes, he is. Also, adult inkling. You think so? Yeah, yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Uh, it's midnight again. Hello! What's up? Also, what? Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, so uh, we got a new toy, uh, and it's allowing us to stream from the Switch, and so we're playing Pokemans. Uh, we're doing a story mode that I did not expect to get, because I thought I beat the game. But nope, here we are. We're going to, uh, uh, we're going to try to take down this, uh, short sword and shield, uh, m like, a crazy motherfuckers who, uh, like, 
uh, support the monarchy and, you know, we lefties can't abide by that. And I am not reading any of this. <laughs> uh, Vincent Allegory, Dull Inkling is so accurate. Oh my god. Ah, I just love my character so much. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Uh, Go Eternatus used to be one of them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I was just about to say, can I Dynamax Eternatus? Cool. Alright. No, what? It won't let me Dynamax Eternatus. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll just do, uh, poison. Poison, poison, poison. Sweet, I just didn't know you were into it. Yeah, I do like, uh, oh fuck, you missed uh, my ramblings about Pokemon. Uh, basically how I'm not really into the recent Pokemon games. Like, they have gotten easier, which is good for me because I also suck at Pokemon. Like, I'm, I'm a basic bitch at Pokemon. I don't do any strat- I just do basic strategy, like, trying to do type matching and that's it. Um, but also, like, like, I'm not really into- Like, like, I can't really be into recent games, even still, because- I, I'm just not into the stories. The stories just aren't good. I'm like, I'm like, they're pretty cut and dry, like, yeah, to be expected. And, like, in this story, it feels like, uh, Chairman Rose or whoever, um, like, he was just being evil and trying to, uh, destroy, uh, Galar just because he's supposed to. He didn't even really explain why he thought this was gonna be a good thing. So, uh, this this like disavow uh this is the most interesting but i've gotta say this is very interesting to me because i did not expect this story part to be here i thought i'd beat the game but here we are so i'm quite excited for this like and i also love how they're making a story they're making it into uh like an actual plot point how shat on hop is like how pathetic he is in the in terms of the story I love how it's actually so good. Actually, I can't tell you if you missed anything because uh, I forgot already. <laughs> huh. Aww. Poor buddy. You didn't know what you were doing, I bet. So. Piers is basically a Luddite because he hates Dynamaxing. I see. And Milo, he's, he's, just a, he's just a wholesome snack. Oh yeah, we were talking about how to fully appreciate a snack. Uh, vampires uh, can appreciate snacks uh, via the mind, but only cannibals can appreciate snacks via the flesh. Um, disagree. I think blood what? is tasty. Okay, you think blood is tasty, but it's not this. The you're not you're not getting into the meat. Um. Go on. This like, also depends on your vampire mythology. Oh really? Yeah, some vampires can eat. That's true. That's that is true. I'm I'm used to vampires that that don't eat or like really can't eat. Like Anorex vampires cannot eat. Uh... Oh, this is his gym. I forgot. Yep. Man, he is a beefy boy. Yeah, we also commented on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, where were we? Um... Eternatus and the wolves can't Dynamax. Okay. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. I, like, so... Before tonight, I stopped at the point where I got Eternatus, so I haven't really had a chance to test them out. This is my testing them out. Uh, Drag Queen Pokemon. Love it. Rose wanted to release Eternatus for its energy and use it to power Galar. He was worried about Galar losing power. Okay, I knew he was worried about Galar losing power, but I really... I don't know, maybe I was being dumb, but it wasn't... I... I, it just didn't get communicated to me that that, like, that he was gonna harness uh, Eternatus' power? It just seemed like he was just unleashing him, just cause. Well, well, oh, the, oh, 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 the, oh, sword and shield for such assholes. Uh, 
Uh, I can't look at this animation and not see the other rival from Sun and Moon. Ah, so sad. Yep. Also, fuck those guys. I hate their laugh. They did a good job making them so hateable. Hey, do you want to watch the 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 one Digi thing well, one about one. Sword and Shield? Uh, I feel like I did at the time. Uh, what's what's important to watch about it? Uh, you know that one tweet. What? The one tweet. You know. The one tweet. I fucking not okay. What? You don't remember. What? No, I don't remember. Alright, I'm gonna find it then. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Did I... Despicable I Champion, I, I beat the shit out of you, Shieldbert. Shut up. I think I set my phone down. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, to be fair, his plan was dumb, lol. Yeah, it was dumb, but it was dumb in a way that it, it didn't feel like, oh, uh, like, uh, this is a, a, a sort of, like, a disagreement of, or, like, a battle between philosophies. It was just like, this is the evil that has to be stopped. whoop de do I feel like a lot of the s story in Sword and Shield isn't super well communicated because it gets lost in the less necessary necessary dialogue. I can see that. It's Skyward, Sword, ha Sword, Word, and Sherbert Shieldbert. <laughs> I can see that being their actual names. <laughs> I don't favorite that many things, so it shouldn't be too far back. Good luck. I feel I, I favorite a lot of shit. Um, I won't allow it. I am the champion. I won't allow this in my domain. will charm you with a smile for a while but in time nothing can harm you not while I'm around okay I've been scrolling for a couple seconds here and I'm already in July oh my fucking god I cannot believe it ex gym leader what? Oh, was that because uh, what's her face took over? Yeah, Marnie must be uh, the, the gym leader, right? Because she must have beat her brother. Yeah, let's head to one of these stadiums. We gotta go do the fighting and the Pokemon battling, cause that's what we do. We're just that cool. I... That's not where I need to go. Where's the... Oh fuck, I need to fly. I don't need to go to a station for that. Um, let's go to the town map. Uh, yeah, we'll start here. Cause I wanna start here. Oh, I should've healed my uh, Eternatus. Uh, so what else is new, people? Uh, talk to me, babies. Uh, I want to make sure I get healed. Scooters, uh, join the chat. Uh, say hello to my scooter. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like Scoot? Don't you wish your girlfriend was just my Scoot? <laughs> I scroll down and I see, imagine Scooby-Doo saying pronouns like Ray Rem. I can't sleep <laughs> in. I can't stop thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it. Okay. Well, here we go to do the thing. The onyx is still here. What is he doing? Okay. 
<sighs> My friends lost a, launched a podcast. Cool. Good for them. I hope it goes well. I've been wanting to, like, launch an actual podcast, but I need to find someone to do it with. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, having, like launching a Degrassi podcast. That'd be cool. I also kind of want to diversify and launch a different kind of podcast. But I'm just running around the gym, aren't I? That's what I'm doing. I'm too drunk for this. Um, but yeah, I just need, I need to find someone to do a podcast with because I really want to do a podcast with someone. <sighs> so jelly. The sword and shield follow day and night based on real time. I don't I remember. Don't, I don't know. Do they? Uh, I'm the wrong person to ask. Oh boy, that's cool. I didn't realize that. Oh, the weather changes too? What? I, well, I think in the wild area, there's specific uh, areas uh, with specific kind of weathers, but I didn't know that. That is really cool. I am still not reading any of this. Shit. Uh, good luck. Um, I do recognize that this part is, uh, the best that, um, like, it's been in this entire game. Uh, I just know that I'm being a shithead and not paying attention. I think the biggest problem with my, uh, my Alombra is that not only is he a water type, that's all well and good, but he's also a grass type, so it makes him also, uh, vulnerable to the people that, uh, Lombra's supposed to be good against. So that's kind of sad. Uh, I'm not going to do this shit. Lombra would be good. Devil would be good. I'm bringing out Lombra. Lombra doesn't get to do shit around here. He's he's the uh like underdog, uh the underappreciated one around here. He's just so pathetic, but I love him. A lot of stuff, anecdotes, musical, uh, music industry, TV, film, culture, humor, writing, arts, mental health, and well-being, opinion, debate, and special guests. Cool, cool. I hope it goes well for them. Oh shit, no, I want a diamond. I want diamonds. Can I not diamond next? Don't want one diamond. Okay. Uh, fine. We'll just uh, go do this. Starting with its co-host, Tails, of the involved in very specific circle folks. Okay. If I were to do a podcast, I wanted, I'd want to have a podcast similar to Hello Internet, where it's just me and a friend of mine just talking about stuff. Like, not having to be on a very specific topic, but we just, we just chit-chat, because it's fun. Like, because, uh, you know, we like talking to each other, and other people enjoy our, um, our back and forth. Like, our, um, what do you call it? Uh, our chemistry. I guess this is where I should plug the Arch Plays, because, like, we kind of do have, uh, kind a of podcast, but we don't, we don't, like, uh... Release new episodes? Yeah, we, like, don't release new episodes, because... Alright, I'm calling it right now. I'm releasing two new episodes tomorrow. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't believe it. No, that would be too good to be true. Followed by um, another episode of the Uberman podcast on Monday. Uberman? Yeah, uh, the Body Hacks podcast that oh. I have where I talk about, like, health exploits see, and stuff. See, I completely forgot about it because you haven't released that either. <laughs> It's been recorded since, like, September. Oh my god. And this is why I don't do podcast with you. No, it's not that. It's, mainly it's... Oh. Fuck me! Poor Alombra! Fuck me! I... I do want, like, a podcast that doesn't... Like, that isn't just with you, though, because I feel like I do everything with you. Yeah, I am kind of saturated into every part of your life. Yeah. I would like some things that you make 
that's podcast type where I get to listen to it like I listen to any other podcast. Aww. Well, if you if you subscribe for five bucks a month, you can get the Not a Vampire Lightly podcast where I talk about like talk more recently, ideally, about what's going on in my life. Um, yeah, but I just, I just want to find like, like, someone else to propose with me. Like, part of me wants to, like, put it out to the public, like, hey, you want to do a podcast with me? But it's like, I want to know that we can talk. Like, that we jive. You know? Rarely card. Okay, um, people who know, what's up with lead cards? I didn't pay attention when it came up, and I just keep getting lead cards. And I've got a rare lead card. What does that mean? Why should I care? Are they trading cards of people in the Pokemon League? I don't know. I don't know. See if that's in your inventory. Uh, I don't care. Because uh, <laughs> uh, there's people here who do care, so they'll tell me, I hope. Like, I, I know it's men I get again knows about it, so uh, uh, you, you tell me, man. Why should I care? <laughs> Why should I worry? I don't know that song, but like, I, I, I want to know more of that song, but like, the thing is, like, I like the little clip I always hear of it, but then when I hear the full song, it's always like, mm, mm. not, uh, not, not disagree. that Disagree. I love that song. It's well, the best song in that movie. Yes, literally. That's why it's always like, I just need to re listen to it. I just need to list to uh, it. Just collectibles that you give to a lot of the characters. Okay, so I don't need to care. Why should I care? No, I don't need to care. Yeah, oh, Oliver and Company. Nessa, the hottest uh, character in this game. Uh, can confirm. Alright, uh, yada yada yada, we know what's going on. I am drunk to the point where I'm going to start singing if we don't talk about something. Do you remember her episode of the anime? The one that was on YouTube direct? No. Uh, like, I, kn great. I know I watched it. God, I love my dress in this! I wish I owned it and I wish I was tiny enough to fit into it. Hashtag, yep. The rarely cards have interesting picks. Oh. Hmm. So it's for people who care <clears throat> about Pokemon in a way that I don't. Gotcha. I'm a bad Pokemon player. I will admit it. Like, I I don't care. I don't care to learn about the Pokemon. Like, I just pick cute Pokemon and uh, like of each type and I go with it. That's what I do. It's better than picking only your first team like you used to. Ah. Oddly enough, it was uh, Let's Go Eevee that convinced me not to do yeah, that. It broke you for that for that strategy because you have to catch hundreds of Pokemon in that game. Yeah, like, and now I actually, like, now it's like, you know, I can catch different kind of Pokemon. I don't have to just go with the first kinds that I find. Speaking of which, uh, excuse me, I should uh, get a hold of, excuse me, God. Let's go Eevee again and just play this on stream. Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, I like why should I worry as well, but I don't mention for Streets of Gold, though. One Rita sings. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I need to rewatch it. And oh, yeah, the Rita song. Uh, animated animal movie? can't remember. Yeah, it was Disney. It was a Disney movie. It is Disney. Uh, it's like Disney animated uh, Oliver. Disney animated Oliver, Oliver Twist, Twist I mean. with well, Billy Joel. Yeah. Well, did he actually play a role or was it like he, uh, he, he just sang it? Okay, I didn't know he he's just sang it. He's, yeah, he's that whole character. No. You know, if you do want a, a skirt like that, that would be pretty darn easy to it's make. It's a dress! Yeah, a, a sweater over it. Do you ever see yourself not in the sweater? Huh, oh, let me. Oh, it's already dead? I wasn't paying attention. What happened? 
What I miss? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. Whoops. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. Uh, also, as a Bette Midler fan, Perfect isn't easy. Is a classic example of Bette Midler goodless, but uh, YMMB. Uh, Your mileage may vary. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I don't really know much about Bette Miller, Midler, so I'm, I... I don't really have reason to care about her, but I can um, appreciate you like her. Good singer, and oh, I can see that it's a dress now. Yeah. Yeah. Good singer, good voice. Um, she was the eldest Sanderson sister in uh, Not Bewitched. Um, Hocus Pocus. Oh, really? You know what song Winifred I like? Sanderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I put a spell on you. It has a certain charm to it. Like I don't like. There's certain parts of it that I, it's like, hmm, that's less than appealing. But it's also like it has a charm to it. Well, it's a Creedence Clearwater Revival song. Is like it? That. Yeah. What? At the very least, they did a version of it because that was the that was the oldest well, copy that like, I ever it, saw. It must have been a Creedence Clearwater Revival song because uh, they did not like. Uh, uh, I don't think they sur they lasted as long at, like, to see that movie come alive. Well, like... Like, cause they, might, they had broken that, up in the 70s. They did a couple of songs that were covers of other okay, people's material. Okay, gotcha, So gotcha. that may have been a cover, or it might have been their song. I don't know. Okay. What I do want to know is, have you ever seen The Ring? <laughs> Coming down. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll see it someday, but someday never comes. Fuck you, sword <laughs> word. We celebrities uh, have an enhanced level of insight into such things. You, uh, you guys are such fucking assholes. We celebrities have an enhanced dick length and girth. Bullying an old lady and a young woman. That's... And they're just sitting down! Such assholes! I hate them! Get out of my house like, or I'm calling Officer Jane. Yeah, exactly! I hate them in a way I could not hate uh, Rose. Like, Rose was like the, uh, the enemy we expected. These are the enemies we needed. Mm. These are the enemies we needed and didn't deserve. Someone who really just inspires hatred. Yes! People were, uh, where it's like, see, this is why I was saying, like, this is why I like X and Y, because the villain in X and Y, uh, there was some, like, there was something really to hate in him, because it felt like he went against everything, uh, like, we value in Pokemon, whereas, uh, like, the villains in Sun and Moon and, uh, in this game, it's like, well, they're being villainous, so I guess we gotta stop them. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, God, but, ah, uh, I love this, I love this so much. Like, uh, I'm not reading any of this, but I love it. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Uh, There's a lot of shit. Okay. okay. Um, As a Bette Midler fan, Perfect and Easy is a classic example of Bette Midler goodness. Your mileage may vary. Uh, Bette is also the mistress of dirty jokes. She has this character in her live shows called Sophie, who does all the dirtiest stuff. As, as an example. I'll never forget it, you know? I was talking to my girlfriend, Clementine, and there was a knock at the door. There was a Dunce and Roses. The card said, with love, from your boyfriend, Ernie. I said, hey, Clementine, you know what this means? For the next two weeks, I'll be on my back with my legs wide open. And Clementine said, what's the matter? You don't have a vase? What? <laughs> Hold on, I need to read this myself, because I was only half paying attention. Okay. I'll never forget it, you know. Uh, I was talking to my ex-girlfriend, Clementine, and there was a knock at the door. It was a dozen roses, uh, and the card said, Love from your boyfriend, Ernie. Uh, I said, Clementine, do you know what this means? For the next two weeks, I'll be on my back uh, with my legs wide open. Clementine I don't, said, I don't get what's it. the matter? Okay. Where are the flowers going to go? <laughs> oh, oh my god. There you go. <laughs> and the last horse crosses the finish line. <laughs> oh, Man, I, I, I hate I, Family Guy, but that one line has paid such incredible dividends. I didn't know that's Family Guy. Yep. Yeah, that has outlived uh, that like is 
far outlive. I mean, I'm sure it's a reference. To like, something. like that has uh, overpaid its dues, I guess. Mm -hmm. I did not heal up. I don't know. Sometimes this game just makes it easy and heals for you. Okay, good because I didn't heal up. Eternatus has pressure, huh? I'm gonna under pressure. Boom, 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 boom. Gesture, Tarbuck. Gesture. <laughs> Ain't you got a vice? <laughs> he did the gesture, just so you know. Man, I just want to sing, but I don't know what songs to sing. And I want to be interesting. I feel like singing doesn't make me interesting. Fuck, when did I lose half my health? I need to pay attention to this, guys. But I'm not. That's all right, yeah. I don't know. Hey, you remember the uh, metal is weak to fire? No, I didn't. It just told it told me it was super effective. Okay. <laughs> Bless you, Scooter. That's something I love and hate about uh, recent games that it's more likely to tell you when things are like what things are like uh, the matchup of things. When you're uh, selecting your moves, it should highlight to you that a move will be super effective if yeah. you've seen it be super effective before. Yeah. Oh, they pulled him back. Oh, wait, no. Is it Q's dead? Oh, no, I haven't paid attention still. B sharp. I can't, I'm drunk. <laughs> okay, um. Um, 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 um. Corviknight. Let's go Corviknight. Corviknight's a good boy. Corviknight does things. Phalanx. Get it? Phalanx? What's a phalanx thing? A phalanx, or phalanx, is uh, a shield formation for Greek soldiers. They, they line up with their shields, like, over partly overlapping to protect themselves and the person next to them. It's a shield wall. That's two of them. See, my immediate thought after hearing that is, oh, I hate 300. <laughs> I hate 300 so much. I'm not even glad I saw it. I hate it. I appreciated all the references in the Animaniacs episode that we watched, where yeah. they did a piece of the 300 one, they did um, a bit of Braveheart. And they Wait, <laughs> we both pulled out our Corbinites. Hop and I... <laughs> Excellent. And they did a bit of the speech from Independence Day. Yeah. God, like, new Animaniacs, it's so good. It is very good. I, I love it so much. Like, I'm sure old Animaniacs was good, too, but, you know, I wasn't really, really alive in the 90s, so I can't appreciate it. But, God, oh, I suck. Uh, I, stop burping. Um, but, uh, but new Animaniacs, everyone's gotta watch it. It's so good. Ah, I love it. Mm, oh, I'm so burpy. Ah, I'm losing, losing people. Ah! We gotta talk about shit. Ah, uh, shit. We gotta talk about shit. Oh! Ow! That hurts. Um. Hmm. Do I want to keep my core guy out? No, I don't think so. I think we're gonna switch it up to Cinderace. Cinderace is pretty useful. You know what I want? I want a plush of Thievel. Thievel is so adorable. I love him. I also love his like non-evolved forms. Thievel is so cute. I do have a Cinderace. Uh... No, 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 no. A Cinder Bunny. Uh, I think that's good. score bunny. Score bunny, yes. I do have a score bunny uh, plush, uh, and I actually recently got a uh, Vulpix plush. I'm so happy. Fucking hell! I didn't get to do shit, and now he's dead. Okay, y'all are gonna fucking die. I don't know. I I only have Thievel left, and ah, uh, this is not no Cinderace is my. Uh, usual, like, I'm a kill a bitch person. Oh, God, this is this is gonna be terrible. I like the black light a uh, bit in New Anime Action. Someone ate Wacko's Donuts. Yes, that yeah. was that was funny. That, like, I like that, like, 
it was interesting because you know you see the you see part of the joke in uh, the uh, what do you call it the uh, promotional stuff. Ha ha. Okay, I get the joke. No, it's not like it it it's still funny when you see it. So that was cool. Uh, as a former rave goer, it brought back fond memories. One day I'd like to go to a rave, like post-COVID. Like, I want to try a rave, just to try it. I also want to try going to a gay bar, because I'm sure, like, that's the only bar that I'm actually going to enjoy. Well, there's always, you know, uh, pony cons. The rave at pony cons is yeah. always great. Yeah. And a much more positive atmosphere than actual raves. You know, I really hope that pony cons do come back, like, when, uh, things come back after Coco. I'm just afraid it won't. Because, you know, like, there's a lot of things that just kind of go away when you don't care about it, when, like, they're not in your face as much. Oh, they'll come back. They definitely yeah. will. I think I'm gonna beat up someone. <clears throat> I need to beat up this sword guy. Um, I feel such a euphoria. I, I, we'll sleep fans. <laughs> Um, I'm specific. I'm specifically wanting to go to a gay bar because I don't know. I want to meet a girl. I want to meet a, a cute girl, and you know, like I'm recognizing in myself that I prefer feminine people. Like, and I'm not really into feminine guys. Like, I'm just kind of not into guys too much. Like some, yeah, okay, but it's very hit and miss. Mm -hmm. But girl, fuck! <laughs> okay. Oh shit, shit, shit! Pictures, shit, shit. ladylike behavior. Ah, <laughs> uh, you killed it. Um, but girls, like, god damn it! I, I'm Icarus. Fuck me, God, don't fuck me. I was. I was about to say something, but I don't want to say it, so I'm not gonna say it. Uh, but don't fuck me. Um, unless you're into BDSM. <laughs> um, but I'm, I, I find that I'm, like, I just, I think I like girls, like, more than I thought I did. And it's interesting because I did date a girl once upon a time, and, like, we thought I was straight because, you know, I was we're really into doing sex stuff with her. But no, it turns out it makes sex asexual. And now that I've recognized that, I can't, I can't get it out of my mind that I just want to, I just kind of really want to date a girl. Like, that's what I want. I want someone feminine, someone who kind of looks like my Pokemon character. <laughs> like, in a way, it's like, I kind of want to date me, but because I think me is cute. I don't know, it's, it's a bit weird. Yeah, I can get behind that. Like, I'm also pretty uh, picky with, when it comes to girls, too. I don't think I'm as, as picky as when it comes to guys. <sighs> Something I, I, I feel pretty ashamed of is that I'm not into like uh, I'm not really into trans people like I'm into non-binary people but not really convent like uh, like uh, binary trans people because hmm. I feel like Fiona and Degrassi where it's like the thing I like about Adam is the girl parts that he's trying to the change part, about him. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the parts that he wants to get away from. The thing that's not Adam. Mm -hmm. And I feel terrible about that, but I recognize that in me. It's like, I'm so close to being a lesbian, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Someone once gave me candy, uh candy bar for my birthday. It was called a gay bar. No joke. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Well, you heard Lady uh, Lady Visiting Sciences. You heard the Lady Visiting Scientists. Rapid cloning. Get to it. <laughs> if I mispronounce someone, let me know. Uh, I don't think you did. Um. I don't think you did. Uh, in case I haven't talked about it before, like, I could talk about my, my favorite pronouns. Like, I yeah. don't, I don't know if I've 
talked about it fully, but so like the thing I figured out about pronouns for myself is mm -hmm. in my ideal world, no one would, would use pronouns for me. Like I wouldn't have pronouns. I'd be like a mask. It, like it reminds just... me of like Willow's gone that way too. Really? If you, if you, if you, oh uh, my god! If you look up Willow's Twitter bio, it's like uh, preferred pronouns none. Do not refer to me. Oh my god! <laughs> like the more I hear about Willow, the more it's like, man, maybe maybe. Yeah, we, you guys should hang out. Maybe we should. Like, oh my god, maybe Willow is like the person I've been longing to be with. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I'm an anxious piece of shit that doesn't communicate. Well, uh, you're, there's no way that this, that any confessions of, of, of potential plans or attraction or whatever is going to, like, reach across time and space because Willow doesn't watch her streams, so. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Willow is what I wish I looked like. Uh, hey, how about instead of pronouns, we call people Traveler. That sounds cool. No, I just want to be called Vamp. Like, that's... I don't want... I don't want a special word for me. I don't want he, she... I don't want even... I don't even want they. I just want to be Vamp. Like, okay, yeah, that's that destroys the whole point of pronouns, but I don't care. That's what makes me feel good. Like... Okay, but how cool would it be if uh, a, a waiter came up to us and was like, Hello, fellow travelers. Yeah, or well met fellow fellow travelers. <laughs> yeah, that that would that would be cool. Wait, what's she on about? Hold on. By the way, fellow travelers is an, an anarchist thing, or what? a socialist thing. Is it? Like <gasps> what? You wait. She is a double agent. She's a fucking double agent. Oh my god, no! Uh, this is the story that I was lacking the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. The post game has the real story. Yeah. So it is with Pokemon in general. Uh, ah! Hello, page one. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, page one. How's it going? Um, um, uh, welcome to the stream. I am just drunk enough that I'm hopefully... Okay, I'm obviously not that entertaining because we've lost people. <laughs> We're now down to five. That, uh, that fuck me. viewer count may not necessarily be accurate. Maybe, but fuck me anyways. Don't fuck me. Uh, duly noted vampire person... Oh, I wish I was a vampire. Um, hello, page one. Uh, we're just we're just chilling. We're vibing here. <laughs> Hi, I'm not a vampire, and I'm bitter about it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You should uh, start saying that. I should. I should. We'll see if I remember it after I'm done drinking. <laughs> uh, we found out that the real game, the real story is in the post game, and I am living for this. Oh my fucking god. She has the wish. something dangerous that might get you demonetized but uh so about the whole like storming the capitol building and insurrection and stuff like that I'm about it. um the reason that it's bad is because they wanted bad things not that uh insurrection is on its own a bad thing well yeah because like it's that they were trying to do it the... to reinstall fascism yeah the thing that so i see a lot of right wingers and trumpers being like oh it's it's only bad when we do what you people have been doing uh, over the summer. I uh, wish people had been like, like but the, the, the thing doing is, that on my side the, the whole time. The that would thing be great. is that protest was made. What the protest was institutionalized in our constitution, like in our freedom of speech and shit, uh, so that uh, we can legitimize like and be able to do the shit that um, like our founding fathers fathers weren't able to do. Um, uh, like, fuck, where was I going with this? 
uh, uh, because it's a constitutional right. Now, it like a constitutional right is not necessarily to stage a coup, uh, which is something that escapes a lot of people's minds. Or, well, it doesn't really matter because they're just trying to make it be like, well, we did what you guys were doing the whole time, which is utter bullshit because we didn't storm the Capitol with fucking zip ties and like setting up and an guns. execution block uh, outside the fucking capital yeah. but you know uh, uh details i guess i mean i'm down for that if it's our side doing it but that's like, because the things that we want to change about the world are good things for the better we want we want like yeah, public we don't want good things just for us right we want good things for all people including the bad people their lives should be better as well yeah it, it, it reminds me of the whole, like, oh, uh, like, um, LGBT, LGBT, why can't I fucking say this? I'm too like drunk. Like that. Just say yeah. like that. No, I don't, I don't want to say like that. LGBT plus. Like that. No, 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 no. We gotta add plus in there. Like that plus. Yeah, like that plus. Uh, like, people saying, oh, uh, LGBT plus people, or, L well, they say, uh, you alphabet people, like, have an agenda. <laughs> As though, like, oh, that's supposed to be an insult, but anyways, like, yeah, the agenda is to make gender, like, experience better for everyone. Yes. Like, us, like- Including the people who are advantaged, like me. Exactly, like, like, LGBT plus people getting, like, respect and like being treated like people and being able to explore who they are without being persecuted god i, I hate myself uh, uh benefits everyone including the cis white uh male or the cis straight white male people like they get to explore possibly not being that and come out like straight and cis and be okay with it not like oh they have to be cis and straight so they just have to be they can explore who they are without feeling like you know they're defying who they are like like they're going against something fundamental i don't i don't i just can't understand and i fundamentally cannot relate to people who think oppression uh of like these things is benefiting everyone because they're lying to themselves like they're lying like they know they're lying it doesn't matter because at the end of the day they don't care about everyone they only care about themselves and it's kind of funny like i see all these people even now with uh trump flags hanging like uh, on their property but they also like these are also people who live in trailers they live in squalor and yet they're claiming trump like they're acting as though trump is supporting them that fascism is would help them no no they would be left on the wayside after like that's, that's they, the trick though is, yeah yeah they're, they're only being used they bought the marketing yeah they're only being used to put uh these people in power once they're in power it doesn't matter because they're the poor they're always against the poor <clears throat> I, I hate things. Uh, let's go ahead and stop Sonya from like wiggling back and forth. <laughs> I saw somebody flying a, a Trump flag, but it actually said Trump lost lol. Oh my god, I wish I could see that. <laughs> I kind of want one. I uh, Yes. We have nowhere to put it up though. Uh, back window. Front window. Fuck it. Yeah. I'd do it. I, I guess, but that, I would, that's... I would sneak over the blinds. But that's, and... that's mask base, and mask base is very uh, particular. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Look, you're supposed to be Matt's oldest friend. Why am I... Why am I being good? Because I'm inconsiderate. <laughs> why are you an asshole? Why are we friends? Well, I know why we're friends, because you're you're also... You're inconsiderate. Do I make you stuff? Like food? I make you food. Regularly. You do make me food because I'm I'm a lazy piece of shit. You're incapable of cooking. <laughs> okay, I, I made quesadillas today. I made quesadillas today. And I baked chicken. Do you want to talk about the Tom tweet? Because nobody in here would have... <laughs> yes, so, uh, there were, so Tom Oliver uh, is like a man after my own heart. I, I, like, Tom Oliver is one of the few men that I'm actually, I would actually be sexually interested in and romantically interested in. But, uh, uh, parasocial relationships, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that shit. But, uh, Tom Oliver is a snack. But anyways, 
off topic, uh, he uh, made a tweet basically saying like if he has a choice between either cooking and starving himself to death, he would just starve himself. Because fuck that. And that is so me. I don't want to cook. Cooking is just uh, too much effort. Like, give me a can of fruit. I will eat that over cooking. Even if it's like macaroni and cheese, like, I am less likely to cook, okay? Like, maybe I'll make macaroni and cheese if it didn't fucking kill me because of uh, gluten sensitivity. Uh, <laughs> well, we should get caught up with the chat, too. Um, let's see. Where are we? Uh, goes from squeeing to normal greeting. Nothing flat. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> I do that like uh, every every stream. I love doing that. I just there's something funny to me inherently with the dissonance between like uh, being frantic and manic to suddenly just going all like pleasant voice, and that's why I always hope that I carry over whenever I do that. Like just carry over what I find funny about it to other people. And that's kind of like uh, the essence behind my comedy. I find it funny, so hopefully other people do too. Um, if we had, we'd be dead. Uh, real being real. Look at the body count from the summer protests versus the Capitol. Yep. Yeah, I mean... And, and to be fair, the people at the cap, like, the, the, the people uh, inciting, uh, like, uh, doing the insurrection at the Capitol, they had it on easy mode. Mm -hmm. Fucking, uh, like... Because everybody who they, was, in quotes, resisting them was on their side. Yeah, like, they were they were fucking let into the Capitol, and uh, mm -hmm. there's, like, actual proof even from the FBI from that. The police who were supposed to, or the people who were supposed to be guarding... The, yeah, the, the capital police. Selfies with yeah, them. yeah, exactly. Like, like they had it on easy mode, but you uh, saying that you support Black Lives and just being anywhere in DC, you got fucking arrested. Yep. Uh, if we had rioted like them, to add context, uh, if it's read later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We had. We did not riot at all. Like. People like to say, oh, but you guys rioted too. It's no, we to fucking didn't. It's fine to plant a bomb in the Capitol building as long as you don't burn down a target. Yeah, as long as you don't, uh, like, knock down a Confederate statue, it's totally fucking fine. Mm -hmm. I should probably finish the game. Wait, what am I saying it's awful to? Uh, I'm just gonna say it's awful. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is happening even still. Uh, we went on a lefty rant, but we gained one person, so that's cool. Uh... I don't know what the fuck is happening, but a royal lineage. Thing in it. Look at your town map. I'm detecting huge reactions at four fucking stadiums. Yeah, they they apparently do get around. Are they? <laughs> so I, I find it funny thinking of these pompous assholes taking a a Corvinite like uh, a flying uh, like uh, transit around doing their mission. It's funny to me. Tarbuck, entertain the chat. I need to use the bathroom. Okay, I will be here. Cool. Uh, we'll be here looking at Piers making the face. So you guys can't see, but I was just playing with Scooter, the cat. Um, just like pulling a string around the floor and she was batting at it. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing for, for the last little bit. Uh, how's everybody feeling with the stream? Stream's feeling, feeling? I'm just, I'm, I'm loving just looking at him rocking back and forth because the idle animation of him rocking back and forth means that this is happening in real time, basically. But he's just like leaving his mouth open. What's with that, man? And that little blade of grass just blew across the field. Can't complain. All right. Hmm. All right. Um, what's something that I can share with you guys? I've already... I've already basically done all of my days complaining about classism for the most part. Um, do I have 
anything else? really cool and I'd recommend a lot of you guys watch her too um uh, she's cat black on YouTube I'm fairly certain we talked about her in the last stream too <laughs> yeah I like cat black yeah cat black's cool um I don't like she's not one of my favorites but I like a lot of what she does same here like I don't I'm not really into her reaction content but I do like hearing her um her take on things especially because it's a take that is foreign to me because I'm not a black trans girl <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I'm inherently interested in what she thinks and says, especially because, like, uh, I find her to be, uh, pretty well thought for the most part. Mm -hmm. Fuck, what was I gonna say? Why did I bring her up? You uh... To recommend? To recommend, uh, uh, I was gonna, like, uh, post her video. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna post one of her videos recently, um, about, like, uh, like, so the title is, you don't have to be poly, like, in some way, like, uh, in part explaining that, uh, like, like, even though she talks about, uh, being poly, uh, being, like, for her all the time, mm -hmm. like, uh, you don't have to be poly, but I think people should watch that video anyways, because one thing she spends a lot of time, uh, pointing out is you don't have to, like, force yourself to be quote-unquote open-minded for your partner. Because right. more often than not, peop like, people who uh, want you to be quote-unquote open-minded for them, they just want one particular thing from you, and then they'll fuck off. Mm -hmm. They just want to take something from you, and like they just want to get their way, and then move on to the next person. They're not looking to build a further relationship with you with this thing that they're trying to get you to do. Basically, right. it's like... Uh, She's like she uh, she's advocating for recognizing your limits, the fact that you have limits, and respecting them. Like you have those limits for a reason. Like now, think about them and see if you think it's reasonable enough to, like if it's reasonable to have those limits. Okay, that's fine. But the reason to try to get rid of those limits should never be. But my partner wants me to. That should mm -hmm. never be it. Like, uh, if you, if you, for instance, like, you don't want to, like, do any, any change or challenge to your mindset should be internally motivated. Mm -hmm. You should feel like you should get rid of it because you don't want to be that person that, like, to mm -hmm. have that limit. Like, and that, like, that's something that a lot of people, like, don't learn or they don't learn until later on. Like, fuck, I didn't learn that until later on. Like, mm -hmm. um... I hope to carry that into my next relationship. Like, you should never feel like you're doing a good thing, uh, like that your partner's doing a good thing to you by them pressuring you to change in some way. Ah, uh, fuck, I should be doing stuff. Not just holding my drink and ranting. All right. But that's not what I was gonna come in to think about, like talk about anyways. There's another thing that you talked about recently, or no, not recently. It's been a while, actually. I'm like, a oh, spike must have been okay because no one Dynamax is there. <laughs> oh, poor peers. Um, like something else I kind of want to talk about is a sort of dys dysphoria that I don't really see talked about ever. Like, body dysphoria, where it's like it's not gender dysphoria. It's just like not feeling like you have the right body like mm -hmm. you look like something that you you aren't mm -hmm. and i'm getting that a lot lately uh because of my weight like how much i weigh right now and the amount of meat on my bones that does not look like me i no. look in the mirror and i don't feel like me i am going to gently push you to say like size or shape instead yeah. because like like I, I wanted to say this in response to the abby cox video uh that came out a while back where she was like uh size isn't a big deal it's shape that matters and you can get, achieve that shape by shapewear well i don't want to achieve that shape by shapewear i want to be that shape like 
I'd be, I'd be, I'd feel better if I use shapewear, I think. Like, I think part of the reason why I don't feel like myself is because I don't have fitting bras. Mm -hmm. Um, that changes the shape of me. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah, like, well, I don't, I, I don't... I don't think that shapewear is, may, might be a good idea for you. Uh, I'm not you. Yeah. On me, I, uh, that's not, not good enough for me. Yeah. For the same reason that I'm not personally into makeup even if I won't disparage someone else for using mm -hmm. it because like I get you want to be able to customize your appearance I want to be able to customize my appearance that sounds awesome however I want to just have that because I, it's not like I want to play with different aesthetics I have a specific goal in mind and I want it to be permanent yeah and that's kind of how I feel about like my size and shape like I don't it's not that I'm anti-body positivity. Like, of course you do you. I just know for me, like, I don't feel like me. I am anti-body positivity outside of, like, some, a, a particular range because I feel like it's used to just pat people on the back for being unhealthy. I'm not as though, As though anything is okay. It's not, like, there's a lot more that's okay than, than what is culturally prescribed to us, but... I wouldn't go so far as to say any. I guess that's fair. Like, but I, the, this I don't... can just be a, a place that we disagree if we don't happen to agree on that. Yeah. That's fine. I don't like. It, I it's don't... within the range that I don't care. Holy shit! That's new. Bye, boy. Wow, you fucked a day up. I did. Okay. Eternatus for the win. Like. I, I'm not ready to say how I feel about body positivity because I don't think I have the words and I don't think I know how to mm -hmm. feel about it in general. I just know for me, like, I wish I felt empowered uh, to look the way that I do, mm -hmm. but I don't because, like, I don't feel like this is really me. Like, so... I, I subscribe to the mind theory of, like, self-identity or, like, uh, personal identity. Like, where I, like, I see myself, like, the essence of my being, being my mind. And so, how I see the body is, this body is a shell of, uh, like, that I reside in. And my goal is to get this shell to, uh, resemble as much of my being as possible. So you're right, mad. Yeah, basically, basically, like, uh... Uh, without Mask's influence, I've become Mask. <laughs> I've accidentally become... I have become the very Mask! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least I'll, I'll, use, I'll, I'll use my natural voice to fucking talk, uh, like, publicly, though. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't get someone to record lines for me, otherwise nothing would ever come out. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, so... I find a lot of the times when I talk to like especially randos about this, they mm -hmm. don't they don't get it because they it just seems to be a given that people think that the body is you, but that's not how I see it. Yeah. And that's not how I see me. And so they don't get it when I say, "Yeah, but I want to mm -hmm. I want to look like me." And they're like, "Oh, but what matters is inside." It's like, "Yes." And inside, it's not perfect, but it's good. But I want my outside to look like my inside, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. You want these things to line up. Um, let's see. Uh... And, they like... They concern the fallible human brain, which... Um, for me, there's an aspect of, like, I don't want to have to put on my face. You know what I mean? Wait, what's that? You ever hear people say, somebody, particularly an older person, say, I need to put on my face? I haven't heard that in a while, but... It, yeah, it, it's basically gone as a way that people talk, yeah. but the I last time, I'm old. The only time I've ever heard that was uh, in a Hook. Uh, put your faces on girls, here mm -hmm. comes Smee. Smee, Smee. Yeah, where, the implication to me has always been, like, that's what my face looks like from those people, which I, I do 100% accept. Yeah, do that. Ma if you can customize yourself in a way that you want, do it. Pro-customization. 
I would even go so far as to say that that is more of your face than your, like, act natural face is. I would say so, too. Uh, so... Yes. Positive. However, um... I feel like the effect of... Ooh, boy. Yeah. Hi, you. Yeah, he's cute. He's a real mm. snack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so... The effect achieved by shapewear on me is not sufficient of a transformation for it to count as becoming myself. Yeah, and I, I can understand that. I don't want it to be necessary. In the same way that, like, I feel like I'm not myself if I'm not wearing a knife and a flashlight. And I don't have, if I don't have my paracord on me. Like, those are, those are ways that I can be where I am not myself. But yeah. it's... That's a fundamentally different kind of thing because we're really looking at being a qualitative different kind of person. Yeah. You know, I don't. It's like uh, if I if I were to wear a V neck V neck shirt, mm -hmm. that's not being me in a way that's different from me weighing more or having like a more chunky shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are different. Alright. Um, um, let's go ahead. Uh, Larvesta Gay, hell, guy, why did I say gay? Oh my god, fuck. Because you uh, have gay on the brain. Yeah, because I am, real, like, I keep realizing how gay I am, but I have nowhere to put it. Nobody uh, knows the how gay I, I am. am. Nobody knows how gay I how am. Gay I am. Uh, hello, Larvesta Guy. Welcome. I uh, I don't recognize you, so welcome. Oh my god, you're playing Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Oh, I'm Tear Berserkion, by the way. Berserkion? Uh, I don't expect anyone to remember me. The guy who hasn't watched Degrassi fully. Yeah, I'm s I don't remember things in general, so I hope you don't feel offended. Um, but, uh, I, I don't remember you. I, I do apologize. It's not just drunk me saying, Fuck, I'm fucked! Ah, oh, I, I, I should not have done that. Oh, I am... Mmm... By Eternatus. Oh, shit, 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 shit! So, uh... Hmm? I did want to hit back on something that you had hold previously on, said. Uh, hold on, uh, I don't expect anyone to... Uh, hey, you're that guy. Okay, cool. Okay. Someone hmm? recognized you, so that's cool. Okay, go ahead. Alright, so... You said you feel weird about saying that you're not into trans people and I yeah. I just wanted to say like having preferences is not bad. It's not bad but it's like like could a trans person exist that you would be attracted to? Probably. Yeah and that's why it's like I'm hesitant to not call myself a uh, panromantic but it's also like I'm realizing I'm a little bit more Hmm. Like, I'm panromantic insofar as I like slightly femme agender people. Hmm. But... Uh... It's okay to have preferences for the exact same reason as it is okay to be straight or gay. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. It, it's fine to recognize that you just aren't into trans people. That's fine. But if your reason for not being in trans, like, saying, like like oh i'm not into trans women because i'm not gay mm -hmm. that's a problem right like that's something that needs fixing but if it's like i'm not into trans women because i'm just not really into that i'm not not into dudes because i'm horrified by their existence i'm just there's just an absence of attraction yeah like just recognizing that there's just an absence of, of attraction with a trans woman then it's like okay that's fine right and like, if, if it were your thing where you are not attracted to blonde people, that yeah. is exactly the same to me. Exactly. Like, I guess I feel weird about it because I guess I want to be attracted to trans people. Like, mm -hmm. binary trans people, I mean. Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like I should or, like, I want to be that person, but I have to recognize that I'm just not... I mean, yeah, I 100% get that. Like, I feel like the be if it if sexuality were a choice, then the two the two choices that are worth taking are asexual and pansexual, yeah. and nothing else. 
I think I'd take asexual <laughs> or uh, pansexual just because I haven't experienced uh, like uh, being non asexual. Mm. Um, but at the end of the day, I might prefer asexuality. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe I wouldn't because like there there is a special hardship that comes with asexuality. Because there's just so many asexuals that I feel like I have to speak for everyone. And I feel like a different kind of asexual depending on like what's going on hormonally with me. Hmm. Like I am a sex repulsed asexual when I'm taking birth control. Um, and I'm a mildly sex interested asexual when I'm not. But I feel like I have to take on the burden of defending every single asexual because asexuality is so misunderstood, like, uh, like purposely misunderstood in a lot of cases. Because I've met a lot of people online who they don't look into asexuality. They want they to just, not understand. Yeah, they just decide, oh, asexuality means this, so that's what it mm. means. They've never even a fucking asked one of us. They've just decided this is what that means. And it's it's hard. It's a special, like, a, a hardship that, I don't know, like, if I had a choice, I don't know if I would choose. Like, I do want to fight for the under underdog, but... It's tiring always mm. being the underdog. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Let's see. Um, something I didn't respond to a, a while back is they didn't. Uh, the concern of the fallible human brain, which is unlikely to be 100% unaffected by the means of becoming immortal. Uh, worthy sacrifice, don't care. Whatever it is, don't care. I'll take it. Yeah. Would I rather be immortal and depressed? Yes. The answer is yes. I mean, I'd be totally for it because, like, even in my, like, most depressive... I mean, I don't know. I'm lucky enough to where, like, I don't Your actually, lowest low isn't like, as low as other people. Yeah, because I, I literally don't want to die. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> yes, that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, the whole point of uh, begging for a vampire to come and bite me and turn me immoral every fucking stream is so I don't die. <laughs> Uh, then further down, Gibson says, uh, I go with gay because it's easier than saying attracted to men. Yes, primarily attracted to cis gay men, but if you've got a dick, I just might be interested. Uh, you present as male. It could light a fire in me. The common denominator is masculinity, and I'm, I'm cis male, so gay fits best for me. Missing, mi missing messages between. Yes, primarily attracted to cis gay men, but if you've got, if you've got the certain parts, I just might be interested in if you present as male, that could light my fire. I can dig it. I guess I, because I'm asexual, I lean mm. towards, uh, like, uh, more specific, um, like, uh, signifiers. Because, like, I kind of have to. I kind of have to be more specific as to, okay, if you're not into people sexually, like, you don't find any particular, uh, sex, uh, like uh, uh, horny making, less less making, then what are you into? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, earlier in the day we were talking about uh, French, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, we'll one of one that. of the commenters on my uh, what to what not to say on t to an asexuality video uh, commented that in French there are two words uh, like. There's a word for asexuals as in... People uh, like you. The, the people like me, and then a word for asexuals who, like, uh, uh, the, the actual, like, uh, like microbiomes, uh, the microbia, whatever you want to call it, uh, that reproduce asexually. Like, and I like thought sponges. that was... Cool. Yeah, and that is really cool. That's a feature that English does not have, and it makes things a lot easier if there was just another word for asexuals, the orientation that is not inherently linked to asexuals don't have sex. Mm -hmm. And I suggested the unlustful. Yeah, I do like that. It sounds like uh, uh, a vampire term, <laughs> and that's probably why I like it. All right, we're going to the fairy kingdom. I'm just wiping the floor with Eternatus. Well, except for that one. I don't know. I 
I'm like Trump. I'm rewriting history. <laughs> oh, no, shit. Uh, once this girl in high school to wear two quote gypsy. If I could have been, it would have been. And that's show business. But I'm, one in a hundred is an outlier, <laughs> not an orientation. Yeah, I'm, I I'm, can see that. Yep. I'm also not like Trump. As in, or I'm also like Trump. I'm not the president. <laughs> <laughs> that is the way in which I am like Trump. That yeah. that only. Yeah. Well, uh, well he, he technically has like a couple days left. I thought they impeached him. I thought the impeachment went through. Okay, impeachment. That is like, that does not necessarily. So impeachment is like, okay, so you're impeached, but it the Senate act is the one that actually does the vote of okay you're impeached now do you actually get removed from office or do you, do you just stay I feel like that should be a little easier than it is yeah probably but I don't know like I can see in a perfect world why you wouldn't want that to be but you know it's also not a perfect world and we live with Moscow Mitch who you know doesn't want uh, justice in the world but so long as it uh, doesn't uh, uh, pertain to, like, benefit him. So, who fuck cares? Uh, okay, at least for me. There's, like, a trial. Yeah, so, like, like the Senate, uh, like, goes through an actual trial of, like, okay. Does whatever the House thinks you've done bad deserve actual getting kicked out of office? I don't know what's going on, but, uh, like, BD, whatever, I don't know how to say Bede? his name. Yeah, BD, something like that. Uh, ben? he, he's, like, uh, training to be, like, the new, um... Bayday. Uh, 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 fairy-type Pokemon uh, gym leader, and I guess I'm battling him now. But we got bigger <laughs> shit to do. I've not been paying attention, so I don't know why I'm fucking battling him. But I've got, I've got more important shit to do! If the Senate votes... Uh, if the Senate votes on yes on impeachment, it goes to trial. They moved Mawile to being Steel Fairy? That's awesome! Why? I like Mawile. Oh. Look, look at that. Eh, not, for, a, not for me. Those are technically horns that just look like a mouth. Yeah, that's not for me. I'm, I like it. I'm not into that. I'm not into Vor, I will say that, but I do like Big Teeth. Big Teeth is cool. No. What? No. What? What what? What? There's a lot of war <laughs> drawn of like Swalot and Gulpin. Just really? Both. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't here for this. Uh, those are parts of... Oh, I love Gardevoir. Gardevoir, Gardevoir is so fuckable. <laughs> Gardevoir is like the best. Gardevoir, the waifu Pokemon. Yeah. Like, I'm asexual, but Gardevoir is so fuckable. Mm. I'm gonna poison Gardevoir. I had Gardevoir in my in uh, Sun and Moon, and I loved her. Uh, and well, maybe considered empty gesture if impeachment goes through the Senate after Biden is in, it does mean Trump loses annual pension, secret service for life, and other perks. And it means he can never run for office again as long as the system continues to exist. Yeah, and I think that's the most important of all, making sure he can never run for office and he can never, like, like, trying to make sure he can never, uh, uh, leverage, uh, the shit he does now. Because, like, I've been seeing a lot of compare- okay, I don't know how- how important it is to like follow, but I've all I've been seeing a lot of uh, comparisons to like uh, Hitler's coup attempt and yeah. how uh, you know it, it was hand waved up for the sake of unity and unifying unity the country. And healing, literally, yeah. that's what they said. Yeah, and what the fuck? Uh, what? He, he's I, been buried. I I guess so. Huh? Shit. Uh, who do I have against? Uh, toxic people, but I, I, oh shit. Toxic people, I think it's fairies. I should get my mom into this battle. <laughs> uh, ghost types. <laughs> literally, like literally ghost type. Well, uh, I was shit. going to say, 
I don't, I think that fairies are good against poison, but, well, here we are. In the future, and it's all wrong! Yep. Shit. Um, yeah. Uh, here we are, shit, I, here we are. You know why fairy was introduced? Hmm. Because, as of the introduction with, of fairy and all of its weak strengths and weaknesses, there are no Pokemon that have resistance but no weakness. You can't have a type combination that fairy... Like, not that fairy by itself is like super effective against everything or whatever, but there's, there's no type combination that will let you have resistance with no weakness. Now, everything has a weakness. Hmm. Okay, good, because I was gonna fucking die if uh, uh, his Pokemon actually was able to attack. <laughs> I know when I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Yeah! You beat him again. Huh? Beat has grown as a person. I love it. Hmm. Good for him. Cool, yeah. Good for him. I'm so, I'm so happy. Okay, Beat's gonna clean the stadium? Okay. I guess that's cool. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, whatever. Why am I here then? I guess to incite, uh, I guess to incite, like, character growth in Beat, or, like, complete it, but, I don't know, I got shit to do- I got- I got villains to take down! We don't got sh- we don't got time for this bullshit! I got- I got- I got- I gotta save Galar again! This time from the evil fucking monarchy! Uh, picking up rare leak cards left and right and not even paying attention half the time. Holy shit. Yep. Uh, big dick energy here? Big dick energy. Yeah. You don't even have, a, have to have a dick to have big dick energy. Correct. Separately from that, there is a different category called big skirt energy. The, How do you have big this, skirt energy? Um, do you remember, um, Azuken? Oh, uh, yes. Do you remember the producer? Yes. Big Skirt Energy. Mmm. I wish... Part of me wishes I had Big Skirt Energy, but I'm also too submissive to wish that. Yeah. I, I like being submissive, man. You know. You know. Uh, they say that you'll inherit the earth. Yeah. <laughs> say that me shall inherit. You know the book doesn't lie. It's not a question of merit. It's not demand and supply. You, you know the meek are gonna get it. And you're a meek little guy. You know the meek are gonna get what's coming to them by and by. I like that song. I like that song a lot. Okay, I need to find... Better BDE or BSE than BSOD any day. Big dick energy, big uh, skirt energy, to, better to, than blue screen of uh, death. Uh, I want my P and your V. I want a sun your uh, your T's. Uh, I want J off on your T's. And FYI, I wanna. Uh, I want you to. Uh, shit, 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 it's, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, what's it's it called? Hard to remember the uh, the tune. How's, right? how's it go? FYI, I wanna. Oh God, what's it? No. FYI, 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 I wanna. wanna F your A. A. Yes, there we That's go. That's the song. That's yeah. the title of the song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see Alistair without his mask on his rare league card, unless you like mysteries. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I, I kind of want to check that out. After this cutscene, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Is this one of those situations like, um, Custom Robo, where the entire storyline of the, of the first part is actually just the training mission, and even though it lasts for like eight to ten hours... And, and then the real game starts after that and shit gets serious. Maybe. 
Mm. All right, here's Alistair. <gasps> That's what he looks oh, like. Oh, poor he's baby. I, I mean, I just need to hug him. Oh, poor baby. Is he, is he ghost type? Yeah, he's, he's the ghost ghosty type, boy. Huh? Uh, there's Bead getting his, uh, 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 like, becoming like a real boy. Okay, I'm not. Oh, that is so cute. They're all signed, too. Yeah, because they're rare Lee cards. Okay, I gotta go save the world. Maybe you guys... some dinner first before any P's or B's. It's a. Yeah. Uh... True. <laughs> True. <laughs> I should take you out to dinner first, yeah. Also, for the record, though no one cares, I hate butt stuff. I'm not into butt stuff, I don't think. I know a lot of people who are conceptually anti-butt. How do you be conceptually anti-butt? Like, there's no version of it that you would accept. Hmm. Like, it's fundamentally awkward. I sometimes wonder about butt plugs, but that's about it. Hmm. Like, other than that, it's like, I don't, I don't like it. I, tr like, someone tried fingering my butt once, TMI. <laughs> But it was like, no, this is too disgusting. Someone, like, and another uh, friend of theirs said that, oh, uh, you just kind of got to work past the initial weirdness. And I was like, no, I don't want to work for it. I want to, like, either enjoy it now or just don't. Yeah, like, I am assumed that if I tried hard enough, I would like coffee. But I don't yeah. want to try to like the things that I put in my body. Exactly. I want to just like it. And that's what makes it hard for me to... Uh, eat healthy because I don't like healthy things. <laughs> that's why I'll never eat cheese dogs. I I like cheese dogs. I, you well, mean hot dogs actually, with, with fake do cheese like on the inside. I thought I do. I think I prefer them to hot dogs. But if I had a choice between cheese dogs and something else, then have, I think I'm not going to choose them. Have you had a crispy, like blackened hot dog? Wait, why is he saying that as though I? As though he's a threat to us. I already wiped the floor with this bitch. Did you heal? Yes, I did. Because I'm not that drunk. <laughs> uh, like, I have had a crispy hot dog. Ew. Grilled hot dogs are a little bit better than, like, on a boiled hot dog. But I think I would prefer, if I had to live in the che in the hot dog uh, category, I would prefer cheese dogs over hot dogs. All right. Um, okay, let's. Uh... I prefer Italian. If anybody's serious about dinner. Um. Uh, Jacob Bilo says hi, Vamp. Sorry, I'm this late to the party, but I'm here. Hope you're pulling through okay. I'm doing okay. I'm not. I'm not well in. I don't know. I don't know what, what my hiccup is with uh, making shit, but I'm at least well enough that I'm here. <laughs> uh, uh, if that means anything. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you were able to stop by. Treasure Mage says, not to kink shame others, but yeah, for me personally, butts are exit only. Yeah, that's how it is for me too. Like, I just, like, the friend said, oh, you just have to get past the uh, pooping feeling is like I don't want to work past it. I don't. I, I just don't fucking care enough. Just don't. Just don't stick anything in my butt, and we'll be called cold. Fuck! I, I meant to switch my Pokemon. Why do I keep doing the thing? Ah, oh, that hurts me. Ah, oh, I am such a fucking masochist. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe I could buy you some of my sister's cooking. Here are some food. Is the uh, her food is delicious and nutritious. Uh, she takes from her mom. Who takes from her mom? See, just cook for me and it'll be cool. Like, uh, as we established earlier in the stream, I don't cook for my stuff. If I had to choose, well, it's not literally the case, but oftentimes, if it's cook, if it's, if it's between cooking and starving, I'll more likely starve. Because I don't want to fucking cook. Like, uh, cook a Thanksgiving dinner? No. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get Chinese. Like, the Jewish, uh, like, a uh, stereotype. Because they have it right. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Is your new job better than your last one, uh, at this time? It is. Um, it's not working from home, but it is definitely better. Like, I, I feel... 
I guess I feel better appreciation better appreciated via uh, like how much I'm getting paid. It's still like it's definitely a lot better. Like I feel like I'm putting in a little bit less for a lot more. So that's cool. Even though I'm still getting like a hundred percent. And I'm also getting like a three days off. Like so that's also way better. Um it's definitely not a job that I'm gonna want for very long. Uh, I'm hoping uh, the next thing, like, my sister's gonna help me get into an accounting type field. Ouch, that hurt. So I'm really hoping, like, that'll help, that'll let me work from home and feel less, I guess, less pulled down, I guess, from, you know, having to work for a living. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm still feeling weird about, like, trying to be protective on my days off. Uh, like, part of me suspected that I, like, I need more than just changing jobs to feel better. And, but the other part of me was just hoping that getting out of hotel life would feel better. <laughs> and it does technically feel better, but it's not enough. I don't know. I need to hit the bathroom, like, really bad. Uh, Tarbuck, entertain people. Uh, uh, be cool. I don't know. Do a song and dance and tap, uh, session with speakers. Is that what people like nowadays? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a YouTuber. Yeah, da, 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 da. Hey. I feel like I am boring when I get onto these streams. Um... I hope it does for you too, and hopefully you can make your online career a reality sooner rather than later. Hey, there's the guy. Um, I think that I have some personal responsibility in the uh, Vamp Not Making Videos arena right now because, like, there are there is plenty of Vamp content that I currently control. I'm in charge of the editing on Taste Test and the Arch Plays. And I just haven't done it in like six months. <laughs> uh, trust me, you are not boring. Well, if you really think I'm not boring, you can follow me on the Neurotype Line. Uh, it's like Pipeline for neurotyping. Yeah, um, I'm a host on that show. It's currently on its... The seventh episode is about to come out in like a couple of days, and it's a whole bunch of me talking, so if you care about that, then watch it. Let's find some way to spice up these videos. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, you missed me going on a socialism rant, like, an hour ago, something like that, <laughs> for quite a while. Uh, Jacob Bilo might be looking at the neurotype one. Also, you didn't do the fucking song and dance number, so I guess I gotta do it for you. Wait, 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 no, 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 I fucking had it. Uh, hear that beat of those dancing feet. It's a song I love, the melody of 42nd Street. Little nifties from the 50s, innocent and sweet. Sexy ladies from the 80s who are indiscreet Oh, side by side, they're glorified Uh, 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 where- oh, fuck, where's it called? Uh, fuck, no, I lost it, no! Uh, where the underworld can meet the elite, 42nd Street Get on my chair Okay <laughs> uh, you know, a song that's been stuck in my head for a couple of days. Huh. I just wanna play video games. I don't know that I just one. wanna play video games. I just wanna play video games. Now that we have had the rice of flowers, uh, the no. So the gimmick with time. the gimmick with the video games song is that it's a really terrible song by literal twelve year olds. <laughs> Who oh. managed to get their own music video somehow? Nice. Uh, I approve. It's a it's an ancient meme. I love it so much. Now that we have had the rise of the the 
that is tight. I can visualize the happy hours right by your side. The honeymoon stores, one that will adore. I'm gonna take you for a ride. I'll go home and pet and pet my scanty tool. Go home and wait, no, no, no. Please, you'll go home and get your scanties and away we'll go. Ooh, off we're gonna shuffle, shuffle off to Buffalo. To Niagara in the sleeper, there's a honeymoon that's cheaper and the train goes slow. Ooh, off we're gonna shuffle, shuffle off to Buffalo. Someday, I hope to be elected. To buy a lot of baby clothes, we won't know when to expect it, but it's cinch windchill nose. Okay, I'm done. I don't know why, but uh, Gibson's request here of can we make requests? I want to hear Boogie Woogie B Go Boy of Company B. Oh, I, I don't know it. My mind changed that to Boogie Woogie Bulgy Wulgy Boy. Oh my fucking god, no! <laughs> Uh, 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 Gibson, give me a musical song that I know, and I'll sing it for you. I am drunk enough that I will sing, no matter what people tell me. You've already seen it. I just want to sing! After, after a song and, uh, beating this guy, do you want to, I don't know what you want to do. Uh, uh, I think the thing that I want to do is... Uh, Fuck pass out because I'm about out of steam. Oh shit, Dig was not. Dig is apparently super effective, but it did not affect him that much. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know why it didn't affect him that much. Um, maybe uh, its defense is really high, or your attack, it, your physical attack is really low. Well. Maybe shit. One of those uh, two. Who, who's who? Cinderace. Okay, I should take this opportunity to uh, heal up Cinderace. Uh, 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 uh,
fun. No, no. Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one, I'm uh, I'm a girl in which my in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. I my father has no son, so I must. So I'm the one who has the social climb. I'm the one. So I'm the oldest. I'm, I'm the wittiest. And the gossip in New York City is that Sidious is Alexander is penniless. Oh, that doesn't mean I want him any less. Angelica Skyler. Skyler, my sister, is a pleasure. Uh, uh, Some about your service. If it took fighting a war for us to meet you, it would have been worth it. Number two. He's after me because I'm my Skyler sister. The... Elvis's status, I have to be naive to set that aside. Maybe that is why I introduced him to Eliza. Now that's his bride. Uh, nice going, Angelica. He was right. I'll never be satisfied. Uh, something, something happens. I know my sister like I know my own mind. Uh, you will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that I love him, she'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She'd say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I fantasize, what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly? At least my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. Uh, I don't remember Hamilton nearly as much as I used to. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> just what he deserves! Fuck you! You didn't earn this! Hop earned it! Fuck you! Uh, you deserve this. No, Hop, this is your Pokemon. I'm the sword person. Fuck you. You mean you're the shield person. I'm too drunk to know what I am. Swords and shields. Who am I? I'm Jean Valjean. Two, four, six, so one. If you can't tell, I've run out of material. I dreamed a dream of time gone by And hope was high and life worth living Okay, we'll see if I can save after this and we'll be done. Yeah. I dreamed that love would never die I dreamed that God could be forgiven And I was young and unafraid Fuck! And dreams are made, used, and wasted. There was no ransom to be paid. No song unsung, no wine untasted. But the tigers come at night with their voices soft as thunder. As they tear your hopes apart. Shit! I am not doing well. As they turn your dreams to shame. God damn it! I'm not gonna beat him. Did you, did you save before this? No. <laughs> That's a point. By my side. My tears with endless wonder. He took my childhood in his stride, but he was gone when autumn came. And still I dream he'll come to me. And we will live the years together. But there are dreams. That cannot be, and there are storms we cannot weather. I had a dream my life would be so different from this hell 
I'm living so different now from what it seems. Now life is filled with dreams. Uh, aha, can you maybe do one day more? It feels more appropriate to, uh, to our lives today. I agree. You sing a dream dream uh, beautifully, but seeing while trying to play this reminds me of the placement of Celine Dion's prayer in the movie Quest for Camelot. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes. A agree. I, I can see that. Oh fuck, I better get Corviknight out here. Uh, he's not doing well. One day more. Another day, another destiny. It's never any road to Calvary. These men who seem to know my crime will surely come a second time. One day more. I do not live in the I can live when we are parted. One day more. Tomorrow will be worlds away. Shit! And yet, when with you, my world has started. One day more. Or upon my own. Will we ever meet again? One with him not caring. I was born to be with you. What a life I might have known. And I swear I will be true. If he ever saw me there. Fuck. One day more before the storm Do I follow where she goes? Wait, I thought I... I thought I healed... Eternal... What, what the fuck was I doing?! Ugh! Maybe I'm supposed to lose this battle. I don't know, this is not going well, guys! <laughs> Do I follow where she goes? Past the barricades of freedom Do I join? Do I dare? Will you, uh, end your days with me? I can't remember it. The time is now. Oh, it had no effect. Okay, maybe if I paid attention. The day is here. One day more. One day more till revolution. We will nip it in the butt. We'll but. be ready. Whatever. I, I, I see it. Nip, I hear nip it in the butt. So that's why I can't. Nip it uh, in the butt, they say. <laughs> yeah, nip it in the butt, they say. Uh, we, we, they will wipe themselves with blood. Watch them run amok, catch them as they fall. Nap and nigh, let them disappear for all. Here a little more, there a little more. Most of them are gone, so you won't miss much. One day to a new beginning. Raise the flag of freedom high. Every man will be a king. Every man will be a king. There's a new world for the winning. There's a new world to be won. Do you hear the people sing? My place is here. I fight with you. One day more. Uh, uh, then, then people, the people. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll discover what our God in heaven has in store. One more dawn, one more day, one day more. Oh, because I was trying to use Max Potion instead of Max Revive! I'm a fucking idiot! No, I'm drunk. That's my problem. I'm not an idiot. I'm drunk! <laughs> one day more. And that's my one fucking hell! Oh, I am not okay! Okay! No! No! It took like three, three turns for him to take down Corviknight last time! No! This is bullshit! Bull fucking shit! I am. No! This is not fair! I don't like this! That's not fair! Okay? No! No! I don't... That's not cool! It took him three turns to get Corviknight to one! One HP last time! 
But no, he can just fuck them up right in one turn! No! That is... I, that's not... How is that... How is that okay? I can't... I'm not going crazy. I'm not just drunk. This is bullshit! Yep. Ah! God damn it! Ah! And why was that so effective? That's how we end it, folks. That's that's 2020 for you. It's not even 2020 anymore, but this is 2020 for you. Every everything wrong right now is all 2020's fault. I better say because I've come a long way. Uh, seen come so far and tried so hard. I don't know the song. In Fucking the end, hell! It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Fuck. Uh, do you want to show them the video that we were talking about? Because I posted it into uh, Meme and such. Uh, will I get copyright struck? Uh, for Digi's audio? No, you won't. Uh, wait, why, why, why am I showing people this? Because they don't understand the joke. What joke? Like, like the thing that we were saying way at the beginning of the stream about <laughs> animations and stuff. Is anyone still here? <laughs> Uh, for that six people are watching right now so uh, we've we've all gone up <laughs> what an ending ooh, ooh, i am so mad about about, <laughs> ab about what percent of these times would you say that these live streams turn uh, live stream plays turn into drunk plays uh all of them no not all of them sometimes i am still in myself like i was still in myself last week but oh this was drunk place but oh uh, even still that was bullshit i don't have to be uh i don't have to be drunk to know this is bullshit i would watch this back and know this is bullshit ah uh, this is terrible a crime against humanity where's the tribunal against this disavow <laughs> disavow hard disavow Jacob Below is still here, so that's all that counts, I guess. Fuck! I am, like, really mad. <laughs> like, that's not fair. <laughs> the one time baby game for babies gets hard is when I'm drunk. But even well, still, that's not fair. Well, turning yourself into a baby is a good way to make things hard, I guess. <laughs> I guess. But I still wipe the floor with everyone else. Shit. Oh, God. <sighs> I really, really hope I don't regret this. Just saying. Ah, oh, gosh. Here we are. Did you, did you not set Firefox to be your default browser? No, I haven't gone around to it. Okay, do you want to do that right now? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say because like Waterfox is still semi-useful. It does still have its uses, yeah. Excuse me, God. Uh. All right, so we're gonna turn this off. I guess we're gonna watch a quick video and then I'm gonna go to bed because I I need to be a good boy for work tomorrow. Okay, um... Was fine with the men who would come into your life now and again. I was fine Window capture. Because I knew um, that they didn't just window really capture, matter sure. until you. I was fine when you came and we fought like it was all some silly game over her who she chose. All right, we're watching a video now. We're watching someone else's video from Twitter. Okay. I want to uh, go back to OBS here and make sure that people can still see the chat. That's pretty fucking meta. All right. Um, if I hit play on this, will people be able to hear it? Is it? I don't know. They, they should. Okay. Uh, does Does the desktop play audio? Like, it's sh no, it does not. It plays some audio. No, it doesn't play our audio. No, this. Yeah, we won't hear it though. Why? Because we switched it to uh, Turtle Beach. But if I just hit it right here, 
I've seen this hundreds of times, so I, okay. you can put it. You put the headphones. I on. I got That's the fine. headphones on. Okay. All right. Um, let's come down here. Make sure that that's on. Bring this back and go. <laughs> I hate that Pokemon. This is garbage. Garbage. He doesn't even look like he belongs in the world that he's inhabiting. Everything looks like fucking shit. Who are these fucks? What is this fuck? Fuck you. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I understand. Okay, stop it. Ah, shut up. There we go. Okay, I get it now. Okay, <laughs> yeah, agreed. Hard agree. Um, I can hear something from that video. <laughs> uh, is there a movie night this week? Uh, not literally this week. Um, but uh, next Friday there will be. We're probably watching Lilo and Stitch. We'll find out because uh, democracy, what is that? We don't believe in it. Disavow. <laughs> and at some point in there, I might wind up doing a dark movie night of Rise of the Guardians because I think it's cool. Why don't we do it for real movie night so I can watch it? Because Because if... Because you don't want to wait. You are the real anti-democracy person. I'm subverting the system like a you true anarchist. You are. Uh, Why am I the normie here? Anybody's a normie when they stand next to me, except for like two wait, people. Wait, wait, you're know. you're you're the cis white guy. Right, but I'm also like a, a like scum sucking psychopath who uh, is at the bottom rung of society, but also living it up better than most people are in my mountain of garbage. I'm living the Ben Saint lifestyle. It makes me an extreme outlier. L literally true, you mm -hmm. fucking leech. <laughs> I would fuck Ben. No, I wouldn't. I don't know. Would I? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, the Ben St. Lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Man, you, nobody nobody in our, in your chat ever knows what the fuck we're talking about. No, and that's probably for the best, so no one can run to, like, Ben St. or Tom <laughs> Oliver and, think, and say, Hey, non-vampire thinks you're snacks. <laughs> for the best. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe that would, like, uh, actually make hmm. something happen, because I'm a coward. But, you know, for the best. Shut up. I don't know. Uh, 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 and now we've come to the end of the story. Here we are at the end of the story. It's the end. The end. It's the, the end, end of the of world as we know it. I and feel I fine. feel fine. All right. So, uh, we gonna yeah. do stuff? We gonna, we gonna... I'm going to bed. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. That's what I mean. We got... Yeah, we're going to do stuff. Uh, you guys go do stuff, too. Scooter's going to chase a string, because that's what she does. She, she's she got to live that hunter lifestyle, even though she's not literally hunting for mice. Oh, did I ever tell this on stream? I don't mm -hmm. know if I have. Uh, but So one time, like, I was asleep, just, you know, just, just uh, and then I woke up, and I go to, like, the like the foot of the, the door out to the hallway and I see this like a dark thing on the floor and I think oh fuck scooter pooped on the floor I get Tarbuck because it's like I think Tarbuck uh, I tell Tarbuck ah oh, uh, I, I think po scooter pooped on the floor and then I look closer and it's like wait a minute that uh, that looks weird I bring my phone up to it it's not poop it's a, a rat vermin of some sort Scooter killed a vermin uh, efficiently, according to Tarbuck, because he examined it and just left it at the doorstep. <laughs> she just fucking left it there. <laughs> like, I killed this for you, masters. Praise me. It's more like, I killed this for you, children. Now I shall teach you to hunt. Eat up. <laughs> uh, but I am the one who feeds the scooter. I do not understand. Uh, but Scooter's a hunter at heart. She, ah, uh, I, I adore her so much. All right, um, <laughs> welcome back to Serious Vamp. Um, thank you as always for joining us. Like, I'm glad to even get seven or eight people watching this. Like, I hope I'm being entertaining. I hope you found this entertaining. I hope you found this 
worthwhile to watch. Um, so is that a good scooter or bad scooter? That's good, a good scooter. It, it's a good scooter, because I'd rather she go kill the thing than it be running around and, like, I don't know, giving us rabies. Or whatever mice do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good scooter. But again, thank you very much for joining us. Um, uh, join us next week for movie night or whenever I get a fucking video out. <laughs> um, uh, until then, uh, that just makes me want a cat even more. You can't have scooter. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, adopt from your local shelter. Don't go to a breeder. Like, right. adopt, don't shop. Um, thank you again for joining us, and until next time, bye!